Hi, good morning. Um, I hope everybody's doing well today. We are doing a more um, chill stream today. If you can't tell by the title, we are writing all of my followers' usernames. So, if you are new to stream, um, what we do every month is we do a calligraphy stream where we go through all of my followers and I write their usernames. Um, so it's gonna be a chill one. So after we're done with calligraphy, it'll probably take like either two or three hours because I think in the month of May, I got, okay, I gained 70 followers, but then I lost 30, I think. So we, we still got a good handful. You know, we weren't popping off in May, but you know, we got a decent amount of names to write today. Um, before we get started, I'm gonna go ahead and get our new sub goal up. Current sub goal is for 50 subs, chatters. If you want to see what our long-term goals are, I'm going to go ahead and link them in the chat. Why do I have caps lock on? Sorry. Okay. So today, chatters, um, we had fur in stream earlier, and it's their birthday today. So before we do calligraphy, as why would someone unfollow? I don't know. It's probably like bot accounts, but I, I, I don't care. I'm not going to get mad. What the? What the fuck? Okay. Sorry, the- I had- I swear I had the camera set up. Okay, there she is. Hey, it's back! Okay, so since it's first birthday, I'm gonna do something special for them. Oh. Look, I- I changed my setup as well. The, okay, guys, you know earlier? The- like, whenever we do calligraphy, um, the camera would be shaking. You know why? It's because I had my camera, like, my tripod attached to my, my desk. But now I have it attached to my dresser, and look, it doesn't shake. It doesn't shake. Isn't that fucking cool? Okay, anyway, I was gonna do a special happy birthday for Fur. Let me get- can we get some feel- <laughs> feels birthday man in chat? Can we get some feels birthday man in chat to, for Fur? <laughs> okay, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna write your name twice. Hi, Peach. Welcome to chat. Hope you're doing well today, hun. So before we get started, it's Fur's birthday, so we're writing a special birthday wish for them. Look at that! That's fucking perfect. <laughs> Thank you guys for putting the emotes in chat. No, you're funny. Or no, you're not funny. You're fine, Decon. I don't care what pe color people choose. I don't care about color palettes, you know. But for the follower journal, we are doing rainbow. You know, because it's very aesthetically pleasing. Also, chatters, chatters. Is the audio good? Like, is my mic good? Is the music too loud? Is it too soft? I think it's fine. But I can always adjust things if needed. Um... But yeah. Okay. That have, oh, I didn't cross the two. And then it's FER underscore. Let's do blue. Sounds good, thank you, Ed. I appreciate that. Just doing things to your brain. <laughs> thank you for- I appreciate the check-in. Because like I said, I have a slightly different setup today. And literally, right when I clicked go live, I dropped frames and I was like, Oh fuck, oh shit! There we go, happy birthday, Furman. Once again, happy birthday, hun. Hope you have a great day. I know you said you were gonna chill with your family today. So hopefully, that goes well. Hi, hacker! Welcome to stream, hope you're doing well today, hun. We are doing, writing all our followers' names today, and editing later. Okay, so let's actually get started with the meat of today's show. Also, chatters, down here, if you subscribe, cheer, or give, you, I'll write your name right now. Because <laughs> um, we do still have our sub journal as well. 
Okay. So these are all from the... I think these are followers from April. I do have a thread up on my Twitter. So if you missed your name during the last few streams, I do have this thread up on my Twitter of all the previous pages of names that we've written. So it's, it's just really satisfying to watch me like turn the pages. I don't know. I just had to watch that for a second. Okay. So today I can't promise that I'm going to be very chatty. Like similar to like all these other calligraphy or art streams, I'm only really going to talk if chatters talk to me, so this is like your opportunity to ask me questions, you know, talk about random stuff, and I'll talk back. Um, a big reason why I don't necessarily talk as much during these streams is um, because it takes a lot of like focus and concentration to like write neatly and like proficiently and like draw well without messing up. So just keep that in mind. That's why we got music going. Um, yeah, we love concentration. I appreciate that, Decon. Um, so. Like I said, I cannot promise it is going to be super, like, hype or um, engaging as the normal streams, but we need a chill stream every once in a while, right? Okay. I need to get some water. <clears throat> oh, on my bike ride, since, like, all the cottonwood trees are, like, dropping all their, like, fluff, literally when I go biking on the trail, it looks like there's snow on the ground because there's so much, like, pol not pollen, it's not, I don't know what it's called. But there's so much, like, cottonwood on the ground. Mashed potatoes are fries? Okay, I think the only fast food fries that I genuinely like and will always eat is McDonald's. Otherwise, I always get mashed potatoes. Wait, does Popeyes have fries? Because whenever I go to Popeyes, I have to get the mashed potatoes. Because it has, like, the sauce in it. Popeyes does have fries? Okay. Hi, Mac. Welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well today, hun. <laughs> okay, we're asking we're asking the, the real questions today. Let's see. Yeah, blankies. I was hoping someone would do blankies. Today's a cozy stream. Today's a cozy stream. Taking my brand decon. These are Raycons. These, were, these frames, like they're black and then gold on the side. They were $175. And then to get the actual like lenses, another $75. So these were fucking expensive. But go for it. <laughs> okay. If I was stuck on the island for the Okay, I have to start drawing. <laughs> if I was stuck on the island for the rest of my life without any chance of rescue. But you have an unlimited amount of milk and what kind of cereal? Oh, what cereal? Okay, I don't know if anybody knows. I'm getting my tablet because i need to see that my actual followers list what is red salt i don't know maybe they're talking about like cayenne salt like where they mix in seasoning maybe that's what they're talking about okay <clears throat> anyway um i don't know if anybody knows the brand but i love muffin tops it's kind of like cinnamon toast crunch but instead of cinnamon flavor it's like sugar and then blueberry flavor it's really fucking good it could be a local thing because I don't I don't see it at Winko anymore. <clears throat> oh, it's like a sweet kind of salt. Okay. <laughs> oh, you have one more week of school. Damn, Macker. Damn. 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 Also, chatters, if I ignore you guys, feel free to like talk to each other. Because um, the way my setup is, I have a separate desk for this camera now. Um. So don't be mad if I ignore shit. I don't mean to. Maybe I can move my laptop so I can see a little bit better. Oh, I know yesterday, if you guys were in chat yesterday, um, my camera was like bugging out. And I think the reason is, um, if, you, if anybody's familiar with cameras, um, I have a dummy battery in it. A dummy battery is essentially a battery pack that has like a cord that connects to an outlet. That way, you don't have to recharge your battery. You can just keep your dummy battery um, plugged in the whole time. So, I've had this dummy battery for about a, about a year, because I've been streaming for almost a year now. So, I think the reason why my camera was overheating, quote-unquote, maybe because, like, the battery pack was failing. Um, so, that could be it. So, we have Ostibud for the first name of the day.
<laughs> Chocolate cereal is not good? What? Okay, Mac. Some of your food takes, I, I literally will never agree with. They are absolute dog shit. Chocolate cereal is the best cereal. You know why it's the best cereal? Because you get chocolate milk after you're done eating your cereal. Chocolate should not be in cereal, it's not a morning food. That doesn't matter. People eat muffins for breakfast, and muffins are essentially cupcakes that are healthy, but they are not. So I say chocolate cereal is a okay. I don't know what is wrong with you guys. Oh, Mac, I wanted to say since you're in chat, um, like I said yesterday. For some tweets, if your account is private, then I cannot see the replies. So, I think your account is private, that's why I can't see replies on Twitter, unfortunately. Okay, we have Sour Alexi. <coughs> you like Fruity Pebbles? My sister was a big fan of Fruity Pebbles, which is interesting. Okay, my sister, she does not like milk, because she's a fucking size. So cute. So cute. Psychopath. <laughs> um... Okay, thank you, Mac. I appreciate that. I appreciate your understanding on that. Um, what was I gonna say? So, my sister, she does not like milk, because she's a fucking weirdo. Like I said, she licks my ears. <laughs> if you're in chat, you know that story. I think someone clipped that, so look through my clips to find that story. Pretty Pebbles is the best cereal. See, I feel like a lot of people agree on that, but I don't like the combination of, like, fruit flavors with milk. I feel like that doesn't go well. And like my sister, since she does not like milk, she 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 eats her cereal dry. Like that's normal for her. So she's a she's a she's an interesting one. Can I just say I appreciate you guys? Because as of recent, we've been getting more people in stream, more chatters, and you know, it's nice to see. Because one, growth is cool as poggers, but I'm glad to see that like all you guys get along, you guys like goof and gaff with each other. Because like to me, streaming, like a good chat room, feels like a group chat, you know? I'm glad you guys all get along. Hi, Nyx! Welcome to stream. I know oh, you can't stay along, no problem. We'll see you next time. I appreciate coming in and saying hi, on. Because, um, I think chat room is there for, like, the streamer's entertainment and also, like, chat's entertainment as well. So, chatters, don't feel like you just have to talk to me. Like, if you see, like, something that a chatter is talking about and you want to, like, input, talk about it, you know? Thank you, Mac. <laughs> Meg Minions? <laughs> Is that what we should call you guys? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Meg Minions? I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. Saimek is so good. I agree. I like alternative- Oh, we have, um, Hip Hop Swordsman. I like alternative milks a lot, but we don't buy them often. Because I'm the only one who really drinks the alternative milks, so I can't drink a whole carton in a week. Your sub isn't ready, Sag? That's okay. If you want me to write your name, Chatters Chatters, you can either subscribe, cheer, gift, or donate, or... In the bottom left corner of your chat box, there is a channel point redemption for 750 points where I'll write your name for free. See, I just put that in chat. You can redeem that if you want, and I'll write your name right now. Doesn't taste the same with cereal? Yeah, you're right. Uh, I, I feel like Reese's Puffs. Because, like, I'm a fan of peanut butter, but, like, I'm not a huge fan. So, like, I have to be in the mood for um, Reese's Puffs.
I'm liking how I'm drawing S's now. Because, <clears throat> like, it's, like, small on the top and then big on the bottom. I think I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I feel like it's zoomed out. Yeah, I feel like this is better. <clears throat> Hi, Jammers! What would stream? Hope we're doing well today. Human cereal? What? Huh? Huh? Can I get can I get some hugs in chat? What the fuck, Nix? <laughs> we pancakes for breakfast, but we see chocolate cereal for breakfast is weird. I think it's fine. Oh, we have Velatix. I think it's funny because whenever I let you chatters like talk amongst yourselves, you guys literally just talk about food. <laughs> Is everyone just hungry? <laughs> Tony on cereal chatters. What what is wrong with you guys today? We had human cereal, we had toenail cereal. Okay, I guess toenail cereal is better than human cereal. Like, that is less psychopathic, but still a little bit sus. Just a little one by one snack. <laughs> uh, we have Jale. Or uh, Jaja. <laughs> I'm starving, but it's fine. Well, make sure you get something to eat on the way home, Nix. Or. You know, get coffee or something. I haven't eaten since seven. I have the right to be hungry. <laughs> um, what did I have for breakfast? I had hamburgers for breakfast. Because my parents went on a camping trip, right? And, um... <clears throat> they, they... My dad barbecued, like, 20 hamburgers. Because he's like, you know, I'm gonna make them all at once. So that way I don't have to break up the grill every night. So, they brought home, like, ten extra hamburgers. So, I'm gonna eat hamburgers for days, guys. I think writing numbers is my favorite and then also least favorite thing. We have Wavery124. I'm eating ice. <laughs> Are you eating the ice cube? Oh, chatters, chatters. If you aren't already, go check out my TikTok. I know most of you guys are from TikTok, but I posted a video, I think it was two days ago. We were literally talking about cereal. About how, like, my dad puts water and then ice cubes in his cereal with milk. So go check my TikTok out. We'll leave a comment or something. Hi, Claire. Lotus stream. Hope you're doing well today. Your dad puts ice in the cereal, though? In the cereal, though. I feel like that is weird. I feel like that is weird behavior. <laughs> yeah, we used to have an ice maker on my machine. And it would have cubed and crushed ice, but then it broke. Oh my god. If anybody has ever gone to Hawaii, any, like, shave ice stand that lets you put ice cream at the bottom of your cup Instantly a great shop. I know it's usually like a dollar or two more, but totally worth Jav ice with like a scoop of vanilla ice cream at the bottom. A uh, god tier. There's the shave ice place that opened. Granted, it's like a few towns away from me, but I can still get it through delivery and it's so tempting. But like a shave ice, it's like seven fucking dollars. And I'm like I don't think I can handle this. Like, I I can't justify spending seven dollars on a shave ice. Like, I, I can't do it. I got pretty close yesterday, but I was like, nope, I'm not gonna do it. You have a snow machine at home? Oh my god, I think we used to have one too. But like, you know, with all those like um. Like those cooking gadgets, you always like try it out once and then you never use it again. Cause like my sister, I was asking her, I was like, do you want to get shave ice? And she's like, what's the place? I'm like, this place. And she's like, ooh, kinda. And she's like, why don't we just buy like a shave ice maker off of like Amazon or something? And I was like, true. 
But also think about it, sister. Like, we're gonna use it once, and then literally never use it again. And then we, we literally have no space in the house. Oh, you got the <laughs> ice machine too? That's so cute. <laughs> vanilla ice cream is the best? Okay, I say vanilla is a solid choice, but vanilla bean... Oh! You have to get vanilla bean. Okay, we have motherly Electra. Chatters, if you are new to the stream, make sure you're following and I'll write your name. <laughs> Wait, I love how I said chatters, but we're still on follower only about chat. Lamau. <laughs> uh, oopsie. Okay, we have cotton -y, one. Chocolate or vanilla? Vanilla, obvi. Okay, do we need to run a poll? Let's run a poll. Oh, uh, yeah, anything with like sprinkles? Good. My sister, her favorite sprinkles is like, it's like the shape of the, da, 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 the rainbow sprinkles, but they're chocolate flavor. Okay. We gotta pull up, guys. Chocolate or vanilla? Go vote. <laughs> Nick's just molding at McDonald's right now. <laughs> okay. We should have had a third option. Okay. Um. You know how you... Yeah, happy Pride Month, guys. Let's go. We love Pride Month. Chocolate's overrated. Thank you, Ed. Somebody said it. I wasn't gonna say it, but thank you. You're brave for that. It's <laughs> the chocolate we are best friends. <laughs> now, I mean, if we look at the poll, it looks like we have a lot of chocolate haters in chat. I mean, that sounds bad. We have a lot of vanilla lovers. That, okay, that also sounds bad. Um, ah, <laughs> ignore me, ignore me. Um, <laughs> awkward. Oh wait. Out. I think this is you, Decon, next. I think this is your other account, though, that we're writing right now. Um, what was I gonna say? See, vanilla- chocolate lovers get fucked. We are a vanilla lover chat. <laughs> I know, literally. I feel like every single brand changed their profile pic. Oh, wait! Um, chatters, if you don't know. Hi, Butler. Welcome to chat. Hope you're doing well today, hun. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. Oh, yeah. What is everyone's favorite cookie? Ooh. Oh, I was gonna say, chatters, if you don't know. Um, I am cisgender, but I am bisexual. Hoggers, let's go. So, you know, I'm still looking for that sugar mama, guys. Come on. Any takers? <laughs> So, I think Pride Month is nice, but I do feel like corporations exploit it a little bit. Um, as I mentioned yesterday, for this whole month we will be on follower-only chat. Because, chatters, if you are new to the platform or are unaware, hate raids do happen. So, chatters, if you see anybody being mean or rude, if you see people say bad words in the chat room, ignore it. I will handle it. Mods will handle it. So, that's just a gentle reminder. That is, just to explain why we are on follower-only chat, is to protect both me and chatters. Because there are mean people out in the world and online, so... I don't- I want to make sure you guys don't see bad words. <laughs> we could all come together to beat them up. No, no, no. That's bad. That's bad, too. I do not advocate for violence. We do not be mean to people. We don't not to bully people. I like every cookie believer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. 
I, I, I think I know what you're talking about, Butler. Like, you know how they have, like, those, the cookies that are, like, this color that are almost white? And then they have, like, the bright frosting on it. They're, like, this big. They're circles. Like, they taste super fake. But, like, they're so good. Like, they taste like what I picture Play-Doh would taste like. And we have Decon Pert. When <laughs> you think it's a raisin, dude. Too real. Too real. <laughs> I know. Exactly, Nyx. I don't understand why people don't hit on raisin. <gasps> we have a raisin defender in chat. Oh no. Oh no, Claire. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, this is from Teddy Fresh. You can see, like, it has embroidery right here. I don't know if they have- I think they still have this color block hoodie available, but I don't know if they have this color. But I like this one a lot. <clears throat> Sometimes I'm not mad about getting a raisin. But, honey, if you order a chocolate chip cookie and you receive a raisin, wouldn't that make you mad? Like, if, like, my mom is making something and I'm like, oh shit, she's making raisin, that's fine, because that's my mom. But, like, if I specifically order a fucking chocolate chip and I get raisin, I'm gonna... Okay, I won't go back and complain, because that's Karen behavior. I'll just be like, damn, they messed up my order. I'm gonna leave a review saying they messed up my order, but still give them five stars, you know? Because maybe they're busy, maybe they're in a rush, but still, make sure your tickets are right. Oh my god! Holy shit! Thank you for the tier one sub, Butler, I appreciate that, hon. Um, enjoy your ad fee viewing and sub emotes. Raisin meat? Huh? Huh? Wait, is, is, do people put that shit in, like, meatloaf? My mom never made meatloaf, because she hated meatloaf. Um, I'll write your name, um, Butler, right after I finish this one, okay? Um, like, I know some people put fruit in meatloaf. So, I don't know. I, I don't know. My mom never made it, so I I guess I'm uncultured in that capacity. Um, Butler, if you're in chat, this is my new favorite thing. <laughs> um, anytime you get a new sub, like a first-time sub, I like to ask, um, <clears throat> what are you gonna say? Um, Butler, may I ask why you subscribed right away? You, you followed yesterday. So may I ask, did you like the ad reviewing? Did you like the emotes? Tell me what made you sub. You know, I need to do market research. <laughs> oh fuck, I just realized my lettering is off. Okay, we have your mom, uh, 0040. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and write Butler's name since they subscribed to tier one. Once again, thank you for subscribing. Let's grab our special journal. So chatters. We have a special journal for people who subscribe. So I'm going to go ahead and link that thread in chat. Oh, it's a traditional dish? Oh. Was I being insensitive? Fuck. Uh-oh. Shit! <laughs> no, I mean, it's, it's okay. I want to make you rich. <laughs> Five head. Ah, oh, thank you. I appreciate that, Butler. I'm glad you guys like the TikTok. Because, like, I know there's not many ways to monetize on TikTok, unfortunately. I mean, it, it, to me, it's kind of good. Because there are a lot of younger people on TikTok. But I appreciate you coming over and hanging out with us today, Butler. I appreciate the support as well. But, you know, every little bit counts. Hey, Jay Butler, Jay Butler. You guys like this camera setup? Like this overlay? I like it because it's vertical. Dude, I messed up. I messed up. I fucked up. Oh no. Okay, bye, Nyx. We'll see you next time, hon. Oh no. I messed up, dude. You, you can't really tell, but it's this is the T and then the L. But I, I did the L. I did the E. Oh, I'm okay. I swear. I swear. I'm gonna wipe this out and fix this. Okay, it's not gonna be messed up. Accidents happen. Happy accident. I'm not happy. I am upset. <laughs> I, I, I don't. 
I'll have white out. I think I have white out in my dining room. I'll, I'll fix it after stream. I promise you. I promise you. I'm not gonna scam. I'm not gonna scam us. Hey, <laughs> bye, Nyx. <laughs> Jubilate might be my new name. Like, Jubilee? <laughs> 4255. Dude, I think writing fives have got, has got to be my favorite number. Look at that. It's such an interesting shape. My mom calls me a happy accident. Oh no. Oh no. I keep getting caught by my cord. <gasps> We're gonna add some shapes. Oh, thank you, Butler. I appreciate it. Um, this is what we normally do. I know today today's an interesting stream for your first one. Um, usually we do gaming. As you can see, like, there's clips on TikTok. But today we're doing, like, a more chill calligraphy stream. And then after we're done with the follower journal, we're going to be editing down our best of compilation that will be posted to TikTok tomorrow. So, today <laughs> is definitely lower energy than normal, let me say. Um, but for the sub journal, we usually do this at the end of stream, for like a normal stream, but we're gonna do it throughout, since we're doing calligraphy anyway, so it matches. <clears throat> no, my Pikachu's still there, hun. You're gaslighting me again. It's just my- the camera angle is different for today. So it did not fall. <gasps> oh my god! Thank you for the 200 bits, Butler. I appreciate that. Dude, are you going to be a new oiler? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, uh, since this is your first time cheer, um, you might have a new badge unlocked. So check that out. Because I have um sushi theme badge for my chat room. Okay, so we got a tier one sub and then... 200 bits. Let's go. I guess like gatekeep. <laughs> you guys type the same thing. You guys are so cute. <laughs> okay, back to the follower journal. Once again, thank you, Butler, for subscribing and cheering. I appreciate that. Oh, chatters, chatters. We do have, since it is a new month, we do have a new leaderboard. So now, Butler is number one on cheers, but we don't have any gifters yet. Anybody want a gift? <laughs> okay, I don't know about you guys. Um, <laughs> We're extremely cute. Yeah, you guys are. I don't know about you guys, but... um, I I personally, I like to cheer and gift to like streamers that I like. Because I, I know it's a nice way to support the stream, but I like... I am such like an incel chatter, because like I like to be at the top of the little board. Granted, if somebody drops like 10 subs, I'm not typing that because I'm, I'm not dropping 50 bucks, you know? But I don't know. It's like part of the ego in me where I'm like, I want that attention. I think it's funny because I was in Hassan's stream the other day and like he doesn't even know. Oh my god, stop! Okay, actually, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Thank you, Butler. I appreciate that. Let's go ahead and add that to your journal. Thank you for the tier one. You're at the top of both leaderboards now. Oh my god. You're so fucking cool. Um, well, Thank you. I appreciate that. Who got the gifted sub? Oh, Derek Draws. I think they followed the other day. Let's go. So we had color gift. A tier one. He has colored chat on. <laughs> Um, I know Hassan, he has, like, Chatterino as, like, his chat overlay, and, like, <clears throat> what was I gonna say? And, like, I like the interface of Chatterino, but I can't do commands. Like, I can do, like, exclamation point commands, but for streamers, there's, like, slash commands I can do to, like, run an ad or, like, change my chat room. So, that's kind of a bummer that I can't do that in Chatterino. So, I'll have to fiddle with it more. <clears throat> 
Okay, this username's kind of long, so I don't know if it'll fit. <clears throat> Gotta swear the best streamer? No, I am not the best streamer, okay? Who is the best streamer? Can we talk about that? Grandma's gotta learn how- No! No! No, I know what I'm doing. I fucking know what I'm doing than a lot more than other- some other fucking small streamers, okay? I know what the fuck I'm doing. I have commands, I have bots. I know Twitch culture. So I know what the fuck I'm doing, okay? Um, the polar opposite of me? Cutely. Fucking- she doesn't have shit for her chat room, so... You're my one and only. Fucking simp. <laughs> I'm getting. <clears throat> I am getting. Okay, I'm changing this person's username because um, their username is Lightning McQueer, which I don't think that is appropriate. So I changed it to Lightning McQueen. So they won't know. I've never seen them in chat. So they're probably like a bot account or something. <laughs> yeah, chatters. Um. <clears throat> oh, that's cute. I appreciate the hacker. Revoking the sub? No! I already got the money, though. You can't take back that sub. <laughs> I'll say you hacked me. Dude, I'm... I think I'm pretty good with tech, but I'm not that fucking smart. Yeah. I'm um, talking about your point, hacker. Uh, Lightning McQueen. Like, I know my personal favorite streamer to watch has definitely got to be Hassan. And on days where Hassan doesn't go live, which he literally goes live, like, most every day now. Um, but on days where he doesn't go live, I don't use Switch. So, I totally understand the argument that, like, Twitch is for gaming, like, it's not personality-based. But for a lot of users, like, just the, um, format of Twitch, like, the viewers fall in- Okay, not- that's not the best word. <clears throat> I love Katie Cinderella. I love her so much. She's on my auto host. Um, I was gonna say. Oh, I was gonna say like viewers like the personality on on screen, right? So you're gonna watch your favorite streamer play this game, not because they're playing the game, but because you like that streamer. And I feel like Twitch doesn't understand that. Like when when Ludwig went to YouTube, that was an L for Twitch. Like honestly, because I think he did get a lot of conversion. So like YouTube, like his YouTube has been doing re really well recently in terms of like his normal videos. But I feel like, like I'll watch some of Ludwig's streams now, but not as much because like the Twitch, the chat fucking sucks. <clears throat> they suck. Like they are ass. I fucking hate YouTube chat. So, I don't know. But dude, I fucking love Katie Cinderella. I was watching her stream last night and she was decorating a cake and then I fell asleep. And I was like, damn. Because, like, she streams in the evening, which is usually, like, my bedtime, so I was sad. But I would usually do Mario Kart. Um, Butler, since you're new to chat, I'm gonna go ahead and link my normal schedule. That way you can see. But we usually do Mario Kart on Tuesdays. And then we also do a monthly Mario Kart tournament on the last Sunday of every month. So look forward to that as well. Okay, we have Salmon Munchies. <clears throat> I fell asleep watching yours. <laughs> Are you so cute, Deacon? I think it's wild as well to think that, like, I I've said this a few times, but, like, how chatters will, like, make accounts just to watch my stream and, like, talk to me. That, to me, is crazy. Like, to think that when people like my cross-posted content enough, and also getting people to, like, cross-platform, like, even getting people to, like, follow your Twitter from your Instagram or vice versa is very difficult. So... Um, <clears throat> thank you guys for coming into chat, or thank you for watching or lurking. I'm really cool. Like, I know I have seen growth over the past few months, and it's been well. It's been going well. <clears throat> I have, like, my headset, like, halfway on this ear, and it hurts. Because when I talk for stream, like, I have to hear myself talking. Like, it's weird. Like, I can't just have both, like, sides on. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> yeah, literally. Like, Amazon Prime chatters. If you have an Amazon Prime, link it to you to which you're gonna get a free sub every month. It's insane. Because I know for me, I have an Amazon student account, so I only pay $8 a month for Amazon Prime. And I also have a Twitch Prime, so that means... Since a regular sub is $5 in the United States, that means... I only pay $3 for Amazon delivery, technically. Oh, I bought a few things yesterday um, for stream. Like I said earlier, I bought a new dummy battery. Because, like I said, hopefully that'll fix my, fix my um, camera issue. And also, I bought a second camera. It was on sale. It was normal $30 on sale for $25. No, $23. And I was like, holy shit, I need to buy this. Because it says it's like a webcam. I, it was like a no-name brand, so hopefully it works. But it has like a ring light attached to it. So maybe we can use that instead of using like, this is my phone camera right here. That's why the quality isn't as good. But you know, I don't have a second camera yet. <clears throat> um, Where'd you get in the SM3D world? Um, we got to the part, I think you were a hacker actually, but we got to the part where I needed like 220 stars to unlock the next area, so we were in the world, I think we were in the final world, um, we have plastic, um, love deluxe. I was in the final world where, um, it was like older levels, but remade to be more difficult. <laughs> what? Wasn't it, I got you this cake? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? Uh, that was not what I said last week. I said we would do a cookie decorating stream if we hit 75 subs. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> you would love a painting stream? Um, we actually did a painting stream. It was where I painted the cherry wallpaper. It was a five hour stream. And... I, it was a good stream, like, it was very chill, like, today's, but I think with a bigger project like the wallpaper, I can't do those type of streams as often, because that wallpaper, that cherry one, it took me about eight hours total. Um, Shatters, if you're new, I painted this. This is wallpaper. Well, they're quoting a TikTok? Oh. <laughs> I was like, weird champ. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, I, I go on TikTok a lot, but I don't get a lot of, like, the trending videos, so I don't get all the memes and shit. Uh, anyway. So, I, I paint this wallpaper. If you want to see a thread, I'll go ahead and link that to my Twitter. There's a picture of all the other wallpapers I've painted. Um, but I find for big projects like that, I have to do it off stream. Because, kind of like today, you know I'm getting distracted and, like, talking to you guys? Um, <clears throat> for like big projects like the wallpaper, I feel like it's best if I do it offline, that way I actually get it done. So maybe occasionally we can do a painting stream, but not often. So I will think about it. I also need to make a wallpaper for Meg Esports. We talked about it on Sunday, but I think having a wallpaper where like I make a logo and then we just put Meg Esports and that's like the tile. Okay, we have Catching Fire 3. Talking about getting some heat. You guys know what time it is. We are about an hour into stream. So, it is time for- Yeah, you're on it, Mac. It is time for me to run an ad break. That transition could have been better. Talking about- oh, I should just- uh, Ads. Fire. No. Anyway. So you can avoid nail check. I have fusion today. There she goes. Um, so you can avoid that ad break. Time to clip, but thank you. Thank you, Meg. You can avoid that ad break by subscribing for just $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee today. You get ad-free viewing all month long. Or, we talked about it earlier, if you have an Amazon Prime, link it to your Twitch account, get an <laughs> Amazon Prime sub every month. I think my Prime expires today, so I can give it to somebody else tomorrow. Or, if we have any secret Oilers, now is the time to give subs. This is our current sub goal. If we hit 50 sub goals, or if we have 50 subs, you guys get new emotes. Anyway, get a snack, get some water if you need it. We will see some of you guys in a few. <clears throat> I need some water. 
Are you guys having fun so far? You guys have been very chatty today, which is like, whoa. I mean, I feel like these type of streams, though, where I can actually, like, give you guys more attention. <laughs> like, I, I, I think it makes sense that you guys are chatting. Honestly. We're chatting more than usual. Okay, next. The cute bucket of water. <laughs> Thank you for clipping Mac, I appreciate it. We have ALI or AL Asana. <clears throat> the start of Meg dancing. Hey chatters, chatters. Like I said, if we hit 50 subs, then you guys get three new emotes. Um, you guys get two more still emotes and then one animated. I if we do hit that goal, I'll like do the screenshots on stream so you guys can tell me what emotes you want and then I'll do the poses. And then I'll screenshot the VOD later. So we can do that. If we had 50 subs, I'll do that, like, right away. Um, it's like, you know, like, the vibe? Where it's like this? Like, you know, Emiru vibe? It's so good. Just like this. Like, the loop is perfect. Um, or no, it's like this. I forgot. Don't do fists. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, because I think my stream music playlist, Butler, is like Nintendo songs because um, video game music is copyright free for the most part. So usually during these segments we do like game music. I'm a, I'm a big fan of like SM3D World music. I feel like it's really good. <clears throat> like I said earlier, these aren't like my normal streams, but it's, I think it's cool to do like an occasional chill stream. Cause like I definitely want to be seen as like a cozy or comfort streamer. But like I also want to be seen as funny. Like I feel like I got some good jokes sometimes. Get some coconut mall on. Oh, I need to find like a compilation of Mario Kart music. I think that'd be good too. But I feel like Mario Kart music isn't as like chill though. But maybe if I put on like faster music, I'll, I'll write faster. Cause like I don't want to be doing this all day, you know. Okay, we have Miss K Possible. <laughs> we don't want chill. Okay, you say we decon, but I think it's just you. Here we have Atlee's World. You're playing Splatoon? No problem, hacker. I don't expect everyone to stay. That's another page done. Let's go, guys. Two pages done. I don't expect guys to be, like, or people to be watching, like, the whole stream or chatting the whole time. Like, I know I can't do that for streams I watch, so don't feel bad if people- Wait! Did you gift another sub, Butler? Sorry, I didn't see that. Oh my god, you're fucking crazy. <laughs> Let's see who got that one. Oh, Max, I think they follow you the other day. Thank you for that gifted sub, Butler. You can add that to your chart. Fuck, I slammed my desk. Dude, you're fucking crazy, dude. 
But thank you for that gifted sub. You're gonna make me run out of space. <laughs> I was debating. Um, if I should write names every single time people donate or gift. But then I thought about it. I was like, what if a chatter, like, cheers 100 bits every minute? That'd be annoying. I don't know. <laughs> Clearly they have bank. Maybe. I don't know. See, like, there are certain channels where I do gift or donate a lot. But I'm not an oiler. I don't have a job, so, like, I shouldn't be donating. So. I know we goof and gaff, but I appreciate that, Butler. It was like... I know for stakes on my channel, if you're regular, you know. Um, I for stakes, if like if I fail something, like I'll give chat subs. Similar to the SM30 World Run, every game over I give subs because I think. Um. Was it? Oh, that's Deggy. Because like I think giving chat subs, like giving them like emotes, because I know I like to see my emotes in chat, so I really appreciate that, Butler. Ooh, I was gonna do Toad Treasure Tracker. I was definitely considering that for a game to play. Oh, Chatters, Chatters. Um, I have a thread up on Twitter where you can suggest game ideas for stream, so go check that out. I just love helping people out. You know, like, every little bit helps, you know? Because the whole point of, like, gifting subs, in my opinion, is in the hope that the person who received the gifted will resubscribe. Because I know there's been a few times where, like, if I like the emotes enough, then I will resubscribe. And, like, not to toot my own horn, but I think my emotes are pretty good. Like, the peace I 2 punch? Pretty sick. I think it's fucking good. Um. But, yeah. <clears throat> what were we saying? Oh, yeah. So, I might do Trode's Treasure Hunter next. I think we're gonna try and finish, like... Because I think the game we're going to finish next is Kirby and then SM3 World, but we're, we're, gonna, we're probably going to finish them, like, really close together. So. I kind of want to do another Kirby game, though. Oh, I, I was also thinking, like, maybe Shovel Knight, like, another platformer would be good. But I definitely like the story, like, open world type. So if you have ideas, chatters, go to my Twitter and post and replies or suggestions. Thank you, Butler. I appreciate that. I worked hard on my emotes. <laughs> yeah, I did gift you a Risa Vacker, Sedge. <laughs> Should we have a fight in chat? <laughs> and you guys just punching each other all the time? I wouldn't mind that. I like playful emotes, Sam. Chatters, chatters. If you are new to Twitch, or if you are on Twitch desktop, download these extensions for desktop. You will see a whole new world of new emotes. So, download those now if you are on desktop and you don't have them already. We have J Money One Two Two Zero Five. That was the first three Kirby. No, I think there was another one, right? If it's ported to the Switch, then I might play it. But I think Hackney said it was a bad, so I don't know. I will see, cause like with my like budget, cause like, I get an allowance from my sister. I do her chores, so she gives me like a hundred bucks a week. So I have some spending money, but not a lot. So. It was free on the, ga the Game Pass? Ooh, maybe. I was looking into, like, the premium Nintendo, like, online pass. And I was like, maybe... Maybe I'll upgrade it, but I don't know. I'm still debating. I think writing capital M's is my favorite. Does just see that contrast of thick to thin? Does Nintendo have a Game Pass? Kind of. Um, you can get like a premium, like online subscription, like annual or monthly, and you can get like access to like more retro games that are ported to the Switch. So kind of. Here we have Artistic May. You like the Snicker? <laughs> I, I still think the Punch one is good. You know why the Punch one is good? Because foreshortening. Little art lesson for you guys. Do you, so you see it a lot in anime, so foreshortening is the concept of where 
whatever is in focus or like in the foreground looks bigger than it does IRL. Like in this shot right here, you can see my fist is nearly as big as my head, right? But in real life, it's like a fourth of the size. So going like this, the contrast of like punching towards the camera lens, you're like, whoa, that's foreshortening, right? It's automatically gonna catch your eye. And since it's like a slightly faster pace than like normal, it's automatically gonna draw your attention. Hi, Kitty Lee. Welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well today, hon. <laughs> okay, I'll do the next one. But I still vote that the punching one is the best emote that I have. But I, I do think if we do unlock more, I will do a dancing one. I feel like you guys would like that one a lot. Because, like, ultimately, I want you guys to have emotes that you guys like, not necessarily ones that I like. Because you guys are going to be the ones who are using them in chat, right? So you guys should have fun with it. Give me Mr. Whaty What. <laughs> Art lessons with peace in. <laughs> can you use your own emotes in other people's chat? Yes, you can. Because since I'm the streamer, I technically have like a three month sub. Because see how next to my username, I have the three month subscriber tier three for five months. Um, so I have all of my emotes. So I can use them whenever chat I want. So. Like, I don't have to pay, because it's technically my channel. <laughs> when I first got TikTok, I wasn't streaming, right? I was gonna make art videos, but, like, I'm not fantastic at art. Like, I'm not- I think I'm decent, but I'm not, like, correct. So I was gonna make art content, but, art content, but I was like, nah. Because, like, to make a, a good art video, like, your rendering or your drawing is going to take, like, hours to complete, right? But then the edited clip is only going to be, like, less than a minute. Oh my god! I'm not subbed. <laughs> Katie, you're asking for subs, and look, Mac gave you a sub. You're fucking scummy. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> thank you for the gifted sub, Mac, <laughs> to Cutie Lee. So fucking stupid. <laughs> Y'all remember when it was just the art stuff? Yeah, Cutie Lee was here from the start, guys. She was here watching my fucking cringe-ass art streams. Oh my god. I'll write your name in a second, Mac. <laughs> Thank you, Mac, for the gifted sub to Cutie Lee. Now she gets to spam punches in chat. So whenever I talk shit, she can, like, hit me back. <laughs> okay. We have Lee Le Wolf. Oh. Five, eight. Five, six, eight. I cannot read. Okay. Go ahead and do Mac's name. Chatters, if you are new. I'm gonna give my soul to you. <laughs> oh, that's a little bit sus. Don't I already have, like... I thought Katie was, like, the one for me, you know? But I guess not. I gotta get my pens. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to give a Mac BB to it. Oh, dude, we have a fucking war in chat. That's kind of how I am as well. Um, like, I know it's bad to ask for subs, so chatters don't do it. It's fucking annoying and cringe. But if a chatter's like, ooh, I want the emote, I will give them a sub, and it's fucking bad. You should not encourage that behavior. But, I don't know, I think it's a bit too late. I need to put my hair up, it's way too frizzy. <laughs> yeah, Mac just has quicker fingers. There we go. That's cute. Hassan chair streamer? No. Cutie, you say that? You say that? But are you even a fucking Hassan sub? Look at that. I have the Haas chair emote. Chad is working on the sub journal right now. My hair is so curly today. Yeah, it is. I like it. Because, like, 
Um, I went to the salon about eight months ago now, and I finally have like the right product. So my hair is like properly like curl defining now, and it's good. Okay, back to the sub journal. A sub, please. You already have a sub hacker. I gave you a sub the other day because you fucked up. But you know, you still got a sub, so Lamau. Or sometimes what I'll do, if I'm in a stream and I, I'm like on the just starting stream, I usually will gift a sub to like a chatter who's in there as well who doesn't have a sub. I don't know. Even the chair has a chain? I know, it's so fucking good. My thoughts on sleeping streams. I think they are fine. Um, I, I posted a TikTok about it the other day actually. But I think sleeping streams are fine, you know, I love Amaranth. I stan her. And like, I think people should push the boundaries of content however they do feed, as long as it's not like inappropriate. So I don't mind the sleeping streams. Yes, they are a bit weird, but honestly, um, the Amaranth and S fan sleeping stream. Yeah, it was fucking interesting. Cause there was like, a, there was, oh, where was the clip? What was it? But it was like S fan like turning over, like getting kind of close to Amaranth. And I was like, oh my God, shit, he's making a move. It, it was good content. It was good content. But I don't think I could ever see myself, like, sitting down and, like, watching and enjoying a sleeping stream. Because usually there's no, like, sound or music playing. So it's just them sleeping, and it feels a little bit weird. Like, I feel like those type of streams definitely farm, like, the parasocial viewers. So I, I will... I will probably never doing I will probably never do a sleeping stream. Don't watch me sleep. Yeah, it's fucking cringe. And, like, when I sleep... Because, like, I am big. I get very sweaty. So, like, I usually wear, like, a tank top and shorts. And, like, I feel like that, that'd be kind of skirting the line. Of, like, TOS, you know? Like, you know how they have, like, pajama day at school? And we had not Matt gifted here when the jet? <laughs> Imagine eating your lunch and watching someone sleep. Yeah, it just feels... It's like weird champ, right? <clears throat> it's weird. It's a bit odd. Get back to the list. What was it saying? I forgot what I was gonna say. I'm liking. <laughs> What's not been important? <laughs> okay. Next. Okay, we have Clip Love Cup. They were in chat the other day. Oh yeah, I was talking about pajama day. That was it. Um, so pajama day, like for like school spirit week, they have you like dress up and stuff. Like the teacher would specifically tell you, do not show up in your underwear. I do not care if you sleep in your underwear, but that is not pajamas. And I was like, okay, cool. I mean, no one did because that's fucking cringe and like indecent exposure, like at school. But. Yeah, I never dressed up for, like, spirit days, because I feel like all spirit days were cringe. And, like, a lot of, like, dress-up is uncomfortable. Because, like, for spirit day, where you would dress up in, like, the school colors, like, I remember the girls would always make, like, these tool, um, tool, or not tool. Yeah, the tool tutus. And, like, they're cute and all, but I cannot, like, they do not look comfortable at all. Okay, we have Chaotic Albi. I swam away my hoodie and jeans. What? You like Crazy Hair Day? Yeah, I think Crazy Hair Day was a fun one. I mean, I can kind of understand, like, not allowing slippers for pajama day, but it's also like, eh. Who cares? Like, is it what, a trip hazard? Is that it? Do they not want to get sued because a kid tripped and died on the stairs? 
Is that it? Oh, wait. Uh, I think it could be. Because, like, you know how, like, with slippers, they come off easy? Like, imagine you step on the floor and then you get tetanus or something. Yeah, I, I think that kind of makes sense now. Okay, I couldn't tell if the L was an I, but it's an L. Here we have salt built. <laughs> Wait, salt and BLT maybe? Oh, that's another page done, guys. Look at that. Another one. DJ Khaled. I love Spear Week at school. Sure. I mean, you're extra as fuck, Katie, so, and I'm not. So it makes sense that you liked it. You stabbed a metal brush wire into your finger? Are you okay? Did you clean it up? Guys, make sure whenever you get a wound, you, like, clean it up immediately. Because, like, it's not worth getting sick. We're getting fucking tetanus. You wear shark slides that look like little sharks batting your feet. <laughs> I feel like... Like, you know, like, the cute merchandise you'll see online? Do I have any? Like, how they'll make, like, a pencil sharpener shape like a... Like an emoji or something? Bye, butler! Hope you have a great day! I have an okay day at work, I guess, but I appreciate it out this day. Once again, thank you for the donations and the gifts. I really appreciate it. We hope to see you next time. Enjoy chatting with you, too. Bye. <laughs> you cleaned it up? Okay, that's good. You did something right, Mac. Thank God. The oh, I told this story before, but one of my old co-workers, he was working by himself, and it was at a food shop, so he was working at the line, so like he was taller, so he had to like lean into the food line to get the to get the food. And so like the let's say this was his height, right? So like the the line went over his head, so he had to lean in and on the way as he was as he was getting out, he bumped his head. So he got like like a a gash right here in the back of his head. And like he said he blacked out for like five seconds. And okay, he didn't tell me all this till he got home. And like he walks home for work at like two AM. And I was like why didn't you fucking tell me? You you might have had a concussion. Like he didn't even tell the manager that anything happened. Like, did I clip this? No. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't watch the stream. You know what? Okay, I'm a self-report on him a little bit. Cause okay, I did this Valentine's Day stream where I planned bits and like I did a essentially like a Q and A with the chat room, and I texted him. I was like, hey, DZ, you can you can watch this stream. And he's like, no, actually, I don't want to watch it. He's like, you know, I can still have, like, the stream open if you want an extra view. And I was like, no. I don't care about an extra viewer. I don't care about that shit. I literally don't care. Like, I will still stream if I have two people here. I don't give a shit. I was like, you know, I just wanted you to, like, watch the stream and see my content. Or, like, watch the stream and, like, tell me if it's good or not. He's like, oh. Okay. I was like, dead. I've said this before, but chatters? Um, I'd rather have people, like, actively watching or engaging with the stream than, like, someone have a tab open. You know? Because, like, bigger number, bigger person, like, numbers and viewers is cool, but, like, if you don't like the stream, then why are you here? I don't know. I just don't understand the whole point of, like, having a tab open. Hi, cat. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well today, hon. What are you talking about, Decon? When did you get a sub? You might have gotten gifted one the other day. Maybe? But cool. Enjoy your ad free viewing and sub emotes, cat. Hey, we have Ben Barton. Oh, you're talking to each other. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about, Decon? Yeah, you can get gifted in the offline chat too. Because the way that gifted sub works, um, they're usually random, so they typically will prioritize people to get a gifted sub if you recently followed, if you are in chat often, or if you lurk often. So, I'm not saying you should cross your fingers for a gifted sub, 
but that's that's how like the algorithm is for gifting subs. Oh, okay. You guys are talking about injuries. Okay, I was like, what are you guys talking about? I was like, huh? <laughs> Usually, you switch your background. Noise. I do too. Not with me, all. Thank you, hacker. I'm glad you're you're chatting and shit though, because I think my favorite part about like having a more active chat room is is seeing like everyone's different. I guess personality or chatting style. Because even if like I can't see the username, I know who's talking. Because everyone has like a certain vernacular and the way they type. So, I think it's interesting to like learn new things about people. Here we have Nelmzy. Write your name on cute and stuff? Cool. We'll do that right now. Oh, Kat, we actually wrote your name earlier, I think. I forgot you changed your name. You're, you're right here. We did your, yours at the top of stream because you followed at the start of May. So we'll write your name in the channel board reduction journal. So chatters, we have a separate book for people for people who redeem with their channel points. Let's see, your username is Gray? We can do gray. I feel like gray would match this page because it's like a lot of greens and blacks. Would I ever play Stardew Valley? I used to play Stardew Valley on stream. Like, if you look through my old TikToks from like a few months ago. Um. Oh, I can use it for somebody else? Okay, you want to for- I can refund you too. Yeah, I can do that for you. Um, I'd rather refund. I'll add you in chat. I can... Oh wait, I can't refund it. Fuck. Actually, th okay. If <laughs> if someone wants to claim um cats or your mom's channel for redemption, where I'll write their name, type in chat. Whoever types first, I'll write your name right now. Whoever types right now, you have to say say my name, say my name. That's what you have to type in chat. If you want me to write your name, type say my name in chat. The first one to do it gets it. Apologies for the essay. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> I'll take one. Okay, Decon got it first. <laughs> Meg smells? No. 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 It will do Decon. Gotta be faster, hacker. Gotta have your fingers on the keyboard. Ready to go. Can we see the names after stream? Yeah, we will fold through the journal at the end of stream. Also, Jammers, uh, let's see when you followed. Following since February. Okay, so Jammers, since you've been following since February, your um, picture might be in this Twitter thread because I take pictures of all the previous pages and I post it on my Twitter. So it might be on that thread, Jammers, because it said you followed a while ago. Hacker can have it. Ugh! Guys, you guys are so cute. No! You guys can't be sacrificing for each other all the time. Okay, we're doing hacker. We're doing hacker. No, give it to hacker? Okay, I'm, I'm giving it to hacker. <laughs> Can you give me your handwriting skills, please? I ain't forfeiting my skills for anything, cat. No shot. No way. Epic? Cool. Yeah. Uh, cause Jammers, we do this calligraphy stream every month, so we update the journal every month. So all the followers that we're writing today are followers from May. I got a little bit artsy there at the end. We have Hi Hacker. You like this emote? Yeah, I like the spin one a lot too. Like, I think all of my anime emotes are pretty pretty solid. Yeah, you guys are Decon and Hackers on this page. I forgot. <laughs> okay, back to the follower journal. I think we are about maybe halfway through with calligraphy today, maybe. Because we're getting to followers from two weeks ago.
Oh, maybe you said a bad word or something, cat. Like you made my emotes? I don't know. Because, like, I know I use auto mod, so I know some words are blacklisted, so it's not you, it's just the mod. Unless you said a bad word. <laughs> um, we have RC2552. I was just asking how I made my emotes. Okay, so how I made my emotes, um, since if you look at my emotes, they're all like pictures of me. Um, so what I did is I just filmed myself, like, doing poses and shit. And then I took screenshots, and then I imported them into my- I did the animated ones in Premiere, because for emotes you have to export them to a certain size. So I used Photoshop and then Premiere to make my emotes. Because I'm studying graphic design for college, so I have basic understanding of Adobe programs. Oh, chatters! After calligraphy, we are editing the best of May compilations, so stick around, and I will teach you the basics of how to use Adobe Premiere. So. Oh, he said photo shitting. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> yeah, that's probably why he got automatically deleted. <laughs> Good one, boss. So, chatters, if any of your messages get automated, don't feel bad. Because I know you guys have good intentions. It's just how the mod is. Because sometimes me or mods can't catch stuff right away. So, don't feel bad. It's one of those, it's not you, it's me problems, you know? Okay, this orange pen is getting busted. I do have a backup set of pens, though. Here we have Decon 5657. Hey, that's you! I almost choked on my water from what? Did I say something funny? <laughs> Am I an artist too? Kind of. Kind of. I'm in art school, so I guess technically. But... Oh, that's not it. I do have an Instagram where I have all my old, like, drawings posted. You can see some of my other art there. Yes, you, Decon! Look at that! Oh my god, you're on screen! I could watch you all day for real, weird chimp. <laughs> oh. But I understand. I think that's why I like the vibe of streams a lot. Because you can just have them on, uh, on in the background and, like, just chill. That way you can have a little bit of, like, white noise. So, I get that sentiment. Like, I could listen to a song all day and I'll be happy. That's cool. Congrats on that, cat. Yeah, I was gonna make, like, I was thinking about what I could do for, like, um, a Pride-themed stream. But I honestly can't really think of anything. And also, like, I don't necessarily want to be targeted or harassed for it. So, I don't know. I'll think about it. Maybe. I'm not sure. Here we have Noah3110. I felt so cool. What happened? Did you fall off, Decon? Did you fall off because ratio? <laughs> I think my Clips channel has like 250 subs, so more than you. <laughs> my Clips channel on YouTube is just the same videos you guys see on TikTok, so nothing new. Here we have No Rose 2001. Okay, you're not 12, Decon. You're not 12. Don't. Hey, chatter, chatters. Don't joke about being under 13. You will get banned. And by banned, I mean by Twitch um, staffs. So don't, don't joke about being under 13. I know you're not 13, but don't, don't joke about the Decon. Nice. Let's go. Okay, you're on that grind.
Yeah, Katie's right. I am better. I am better than everyone. <laughs> Just lean into the ego shtick more. Here we have Ishichu. You haven't seen that TikTok? No, I have, but like, you just don't type that in chat, cause... Le okay, let's say Megan is a big streamer. Let's say Megan is a hundred viewer Andy. If a Twitch staff is in here and they see that joke, they will ban you. So, don't joke about that. I'm telling you now, cause I don't want you to get banned. Cause they will perma-ban your account, if they see that. <clears throat> Anyway. <laughs> I just realized I beat you in the journey even though I took a 15 minute break. You say that, hacker? But you didn't place this time, did you? Huh? <laughs> I'm sorry if I confused you. No, it's not me. It's not me. It's, I'm just saying, I don't want you to get banned, okay? Okay. I don't like all this boomer slander in chat. That's not very nice, guys. One day you're gonna be as old as me. One day you're gonna be 23 and be like, damn, I made fun of Megan. My favorite streamer, Peason underscore 17. And look at me now. Yeah, this one is a long name. I don't know if it's gonna fit. I placed above you, true. I have three years, it's cool. <laughs> I guess. I guess. But one day you will be 23. Then I can clown on you, Mac. proud when you do it <laughs> why you want to clip it <laughs> I can maybe get this one to fit ah, I kind of got it the only Ziggy Richards someone's personal assistant being assistant does not sound like a fun job honestly it sounds like a really shit job okay we have another page done guys because like if i'm gonna start working again i need a job with consistency like i need a set thing to do every day yeah we have so many fucking zoomers in here you guys are fucking cringe I'll give you fun tasks like what? Do a Starbucks run three times a day? Yeah, I'm 99, so I, I'm older Gen Z. So I'm technically a Zoomer myself, but I like f making fun of you guys for calling you guys Zoomers. Because you guys are younger Zoomers for the most part. I don't think I have any old heads in chat. I think most of you guys are younger, i.e., teenagers or young adults. I think the only chatter I know who's older is Scootish, and I think Scootish is what, 30? <laughs> oh my god. Can somebody clip that? I want to send that to Scootish later. <laughs> somebody please clip it. And just be like, at Scootish. No, I think Scootish is like 25 or something. Or like 27, one of the two. Like, he's an older... Zoomer. Is he even a Zoomer, though? Um... <laughs> Might as well be 60. No, literally, I can't stand up. How do you clip? Um... Oh, I actually have a... Command for that. 
So, Kat, if you are on desktop, you can click, or, or mobile, you can check this Twitch help, Twitch help article. Thank you, Mac, I appreciate that. <laughs> um, yeah, literally, anything past 25, you're basically 30. Actually true. So, Kat, there's a link to a Twitch help article that'll show you how to clip on desktop or Twitch mobile. So, have fun. We talked about it yesterday, but chatters, chatters. If you enjoy the stream and I say something funny or I do anything that makes you lamau or kick W, IRL, clip it and we will watch it at the end of the month. And we'll use it in the best of compilation. Which we will be editing today after calligraphy. Is my goal with my chat room, I want you guys to all be emote spammers and clippers. I want you guys to have fun with the stream. So yeah. Okay, we have... Hey, Thomas. Pinocha. Thank you for clipping, hacker. <laughs> you can't hear or see me? You might have to refresh your tab. BRB? Okay, no problem. You can spam me once, yeah. Um, as long as it's not, like, super annoying. Uh, what was- what'd you guys do that one day? It was, like, peace I to spin. It was, like, we spin to distract. Wasn't that the spam you guys did? Wasn't that, like, the copy pasta? You guys were just spamming this when I was playing SM3D World and it was the funniest shit. <laughs> I think Batty started it. <clears throat> yeah, I think a little bit of spam is fine. Oh, but Kat, if you're gonna spam, do more- do only like one line. So only do like four emotes per message. Cause that way it's spammy but not too crazy. Cause I think people express themselves in different ways, right? Um, so I like to encourage emote use in chat. Because, um, I know for me, I don't like chatting as much anymore. Like, I definitely- I like spamming Kick W and Omega Low. I think it's fucking funny. And, do Pikachu? How, how would I make an emote of this? Like, actually, how? I don't- Huh? Huh? <laughs> um. I'm in pain. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Oh, because I feel like- Having people do emotes in chat is, like, a nice way to get them used to, like, chat culture and also get them used to, like, chatting in general. Because I know, me as a chatter, I, like, basic Twitch stuff, I would just start with, like, typing Keck W or, like, capital D colon. And then that, that kind of, like, made me more comfortable to, like, chat normally. Like, actually put, like, text messages in the chat room. Like, messages with text. I think it was really funny because I was watching Scootish's stream last night and he talked about the other day basically what I just said. Like, you have to know, like, the Twitch vernacular. We have Ed. Oh, Ed loves you. That's so cute. Um, he was talking about how if you're going to be a streamer, you have to know, like, the chat culture. But, like, you have to know what, like, Kekto, you have to know what Sag means. And, like, he was playing Super Mario Maker and he was, like, saying, like, Madge, Sag the whole time. And nobody in chat was typing it in reply. So, like, anytime he said match, I would type match in chat. But he doesn't have the match emote enabled. Like, I have match. So anytime you guys see me molding, just type match in chat. Yeah, you're on it, Max. Like, just type match in chat. So it's like, it's goodish. If you're going to say emotes, enable them in your fucking chat room. Otherwise, your chat doesn't understand what you're fucking saying. What you're fucking saying! Anyway, Scoot ignores my DMs. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm trolling. He's a busy guy, so I can't I can't be trolling too much. Oh chatters, chatters. Anybody I talk about on stream, I'm on good terms with I never drama farm. That's inappropriate and not cool, so anytime I talk about somebody, I'm usually trolling or goofing. So don't take anything I say concerning other people too seriously. 
Just wanted to clarify. We don't need any Meg haters in chat. You don't see the email? You know why you don't see the email, cat? Because either you're on mobile or if you are on desktop, if you have Google Chrome, download these three extensions right now and you will see the emotes. You just see the word too? Chatters! I tell you every fucking stream to download these emotes or these extensions and then you'll see more emotes on shit. On, I said on shit, on Twitch. Oopsie. You're on your phone, Sag. Damn. Um, oh shit. Well, out of luck then. Um, when you get home and you go to your computer, if you have a computer, I feel like most everyone has a computer, but, um, <laughs> your mom, Lamel. <laughs> um, download those extensions when you get home. They're also on my about section. Oh, you just have to go to my chat room, exclamation extension, I guess. I don't know. Or one day, if you watch on desktop, you can re-download them, I guess. I, I don't know. Okay, we have Miley's Dead Pets. Badge. These emotes changed my life. Literally. Literally. It's like third-party emotes. They are so fun. I love them so much. <clears throat> You say- you say the individual letters, cat. I've never heard that, like, LMAO? Wait. Okay, I've heard that before. But... I say LMAO. What is my favorite third-party emote? Which one's good? Which one makes me chuckle? Okay, I think... Pepe points or Pepe laugh or Pepe la. <laughs> I think Pepe la is good. Oh, you say the letters? That's interesting. I don't even say it. Ah, you just read it in your head. Oh, so you don't say it? You just like actually laugh. You don't say lamau. Because I I used to use lamau or lol unironically like in verbal speech, but now I use it all the time. It's fucking cringe. Okay. No more talking, more calligraphy. <laughs> Did I say it out loud? Well, I do. I think it's cringe and funny, so... Lamau. <laughs> you say that to get them to shut up? Does it work though? <laughs> yeah, I think my favorite is when I have an O next to an R <clears throat> right next to each other. Is this allowed? Huh? What's it called? Yeah, but... Um... I tried... Do you mean, like, emotes? Because, like, I know there's some, like, global, like, 7TV, like, Frank Facey and, um, BTTV emotes. Because, like, I tried to not enable emotes that, um... Oh, yeah, it, it's weird. Because since third-party emotes aren't technically, like, affiliated with Twitch because they're, like, third-party extensions, right? They can still have images of banned people, like, i.e. Doc, right? So it's fine. Because the way that banned people work is you just can't rebroadcast them live. So the, you can't have Doc on as a guest on your podcast for your Twitch stream. Like, that's not allowed. But you can still show videos talking about them, you can still show their image, you just can't have them, like, in the voice call or showing a video of them. That's how band works. It's interesting. Okay, we have Crimson World Word 14. Okay, we're getting near. We're getting near the end.
Here we have Yazi one. I hate Fortnite. <laughs> okay, I like Fortnite more than I like Minecraft. I will say that. I've never played Fortnite, but I would be more willing to play Fortnite than Minecraft. <laughs> you what? I know. Hot take, hot take. Cancel me for that one, guys. But actually, don't. <laughs> Oh, we have Peachtree. They were in chat earlier. About this. Okay, I, I paused for a second because like I was waiting to see which emote chat would put in retaliation, but people right is a good one. That's exactly what I was thinking. Okay. okay, I think Fortnite is a lot more fun to watch than Minecraft. That's why I like it more. People leave, Sag. Bye, Mac. <laughs> now I know you're gonna stick around. I know you're not gonna leave me. Dude, this one came out perfect. I'm hurt. You don't feel good? Okay. Oh, yeah, you said you were sick, Icon. Hope you get better. Hopefully it'll go over in a few days. But take it easy, okay? Okay, we have Fountain Sprite. Another page done. That's what, four pages so far? We have Yon's channel. Thank you for the follow, Bobby. I appreciate that. You're gonna get your name written later. But thank you. Feel free to step. Lurk it out. Makes you happy. Well, that's good at least, Digon. Maybe you just had to, like, stretch. I know, right? Video game food? Like, all the food in Animal Crossing looks so good. Like, I wish I could eat it. Dude, you know what they need to have here in the States? Because, like, you know how in Japan they have, like, themed restaurants? Like, all over the place? We need that more here. Like, if we had, like, a Hello Kitty cafe or something, I would go there, like, every day. No cap. But we have nothing like that in my area. Like, the closest you could get to that is maybe, like, Seattle. I'm sure, like, Seattle has some themed cafes. But... None near me. Okay. Hey. Ooh. That line was weird. We have Night... Spider. I went to a Karen's diner. <laughs> and how was that? 
Wh what is a Karen's diner? Like, just like a normal bed and breakfast? I feel like... I feel like the rinky-dink town, like, diners are kind of like... I feel like everybody's kind of rude. Okay. You would drink the Splatoon paint in a video game. A video game. Not in real life, to clarify, a video game. Oh, we're getting from followers from Sunday, so we're literally almost done, guys. We're literally almost done. <sighs> oh, chatters. I know we haven't played Animal Crossing in, what, a week now? Because we didn't get to play yesterday. But yesterday, I had a villager at my campsite. It was this really cute blue, blue koala. And I played the card game with them twice, and I finally guessed the correct card on my second try. So they were like, oh, we have to kick someone out now. And I was like, bet. So, guys, Gale is moving out today. And a new villager is moving in tomorrow. So we'll see that tomorrow. I know my Animal Crossing frogs are starving. We haven't played in a week. I know. I was crossing my fingers. I was debating whether or not like, I wanted to wait for Aurora. But I don't think I, there's anything I really do besides like pick out my most hated villager. Which honestly, I didn't like Gale much. Like They were cute, but uh, they were like, overly cute. Okay, we have Rutger. Like I said, these are followers from Sunday, so we're getting very close to the end, guys. But stick around, because we're going to do editing after this. We're not ending stream just yet. Okay, I like the look of doing the capital G like this. Thoughts? I think it looks good. Because it just looks like a, a lowercase g, yeah? Okay, we have bag three, four, five. I think they also placed top three in the tournament, actually. You're up in the clock up. Hi, Titan. Welcome to stream. We're doing well today, hun. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. Otherwise, feel free to chat whatever makes you happy. Oh, Titan, since you followed recently, we're going to be writing your name pretty soon, so stick around for that. Because we're doing a calligraphy stream writing all of my followers' usernames. Um, since you're new... Here is a link to a Twitter thread of all the previous pages. But since you're new, your name is probably going to be, like, in five minutes. So, yeah. <laughs> Another TikTok viewer. <laughs> I swear, literally all of you guys are from TikTok. Which, I don't mind. You know, I love my little Zoomers. But I'm glad that TikTok has brought me a lot of success. So, thank you guys for coming from TikTok to stream. I really do appreciate it. Okay, we have Derek Draws. Guess I'm an influencer. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah, look where we're at now, Decon. You come in here every day and troll me. <laughs> I feel like the progression has been for the better. I'm very easily influenced. I can totally see that. <laughs> Yeah, I think this orange pen is on its last stretch. Because the tip is starting to feather out a little bit. I can use you for my shenanigans? <laughs> I guess. Um, Titan, I don't know if you are familiar with Twitch at all. But, we here... Oh, it's it? Okay. We here love emotes. So, like, just playful emote spam will be a good time. So, if you aren't already, if you're on desktop, download those extensions and you can troll me with your emotes. Like, just spam Pepe La all day. <laughs> or, like, Gopium. I think some of my favorite spam I'll see is anytime, like, a spammer does, like, a story, or a streamer does a, a story time. And, like, the chat would be, like, Omega Lol, fake story, or Copium real. I think it's really funny. 
We're finally getting a 9. There we go. We have Gaming Panda, 59. Are you streaming the download? Okay. I see. So you know what you're doing. Okay. Okay, Dika. I don't think it's nice to fucking fight people in their first stream. That's a little bit rude. That's a little bit mean. I think that's bully behavior. But you know, you do you. Okay, this one is a long username. I'm gonna see if I can make it fit. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Okay, maybe I can get this to win. Maybe. Come on. I think this person also placed in our tournament on Sunday. Ah! I'm writing small. I'm writing small. No! I can't do it. I can't do it. Damn, one letter. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Okay, we have Tanuki Mario Nightmare. I'm waiting for you to swing back. Well, Titan is not a sub, Sag. So they can't- they don't have the Meg Punch. <laughs> no, the Meg Punch is a sub emote decon, obvi. I mean, okay, Titan, I think it's a little bit rude to bring a gun to a fist fight. That is a little bit sus, that is kind of unfair. Can I redeem points for someone to get an emote? Look for this second- yeah, let's fucking go! I almost got it to fit! Hi, Tanuki, welcome to stream more than once today, hon. I almost got it to fit. Look, I'm just missing the E. I was so close. I will get it next time. Oh, my bad. <laughs> um, shatters, shatters. We do have... Hmm. I gift you a tier 1 sub for 15,000 points. Maybe we can make a redemption for... I can gift a, a chatter an emote. Was that a miss? Do you have 15k points, Decon? If you do it, I will do it. Although, tomorrow, I'll make a separate redemption to where I can get a redeem points for fun. Yeah, if you got 15k, I'll, I'll gift Titan a sub or a person of your choice. I'll do it. I'll do it. But tomorrow, I'll make a separate reward. Or I'll gift a specific chatter a sub. I can do that, but I'll make it more expensive. <laughs> You're missing three? Three what? Huh? You, see, you don't even have 15k decon. Why are you offering the... Honey, you're, you're literally gaslighting us right now. I'll save her for you, Titan. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. Talking about saving up your points. We are about another hour into stream. Oh, wait! Oh my god! Holy shit. Right for the ad break, Titan. <laughs> Uh, thank you for the tier one sub, Titan. We're gonna. Oh, actually, since we're here, um, it is ad time. Well, Decon, you got. Thank you for that tier one sub, Titan. We're gonna write your name because we have a separate journal for people who subscribe. Easy, easy clap. Go met. Oh my God! Thank you for the five gifted subs, Titan. Now we can all fight. <laughs> True. Oh my god, thank you for those five gifted subs, Titan. I appreciate it a lot. Let's see who got them. Oh, Tanuki got a gifted sub. Nico. Oh, it's two. I thought it was five. I can't fucking count. But we did hit that sub goal. Wait, we got 50 subs, guys. We got 50 fucking subs. You know what that means? Oh no, you know what this means? Okay. So, chatters, now that we've hit 50 subs, um... Once again, thank you, Titan, for gifting chatter subs. Just a little bit of knife and non aggression. You literally. Okay, wait. I don't think you started the fight. Okay, so later, we will pose for screenshot emotes. Because since we had 50 subs, that means I get three new emotes. So we will do this later. After we're done with calligraphy, I will do poses for emotes. So we will do that after calligraphy. But I, I still have to run an ad break. I still have to run an ad break. <laughs> A, a floss emote? No, I'm I'm literally never doing that. Literally never. Okay. 
So, an ad break is coming, guys. You can avoid that ad break by subscribing for just four nine nine, just five dollars a month. Skip your coffee today and get ad free viewers all month long. Or if you have an Amazon Prime, you can link it to your Twitch account and get a free Prime sub every month. Or if we have any secret Oilers, now is the time to give subs. Anyway, we will see some of you guys in a few. Get some water, get a snack if you need it. We'll see some of you guys in a few. Reject conformity, Lomo. Okay, so since Titan, you subscribed and you gifted, once again, I appreciate that. We have a separate journal for subscribers and people who donate. So, since you are new, I'm going to go ahead and link the Twitter thread. Well, why is the command not working? End me. There we go. So, there's a separate journal for all the people who subscribe or donate. So, since you donated right now, we're going to go ahead and write your name, Titan. I feel special. Yeah, I like to do something a little bit um, extra for people who do choose to donate and all that jazz, you know? So, your username is like a bright blue. <laughs> I think the this blue is actually good. How do I unsub? <laughs> no, don't do that. That's rude. That is rude. <laughs> oh, Titan Titan, since you are new to stream, since you recently followed and recently subbed, since you are new, I like to ask, may I know why you subscribed right away? Or what made you, was it like the ad reviewing? Was it the emotes? But did we peer pressure you? <laughs> did Decon pressure you into subbing to get the emote? I don't know. But I'm just curious, because I would like to know. You know, I'm doing my free market research. You better remove that message. <laughs> now, even if I delete the message, I can still see your logs, Deacon. I can see every single message that all of you chatters type. So if you say bad shit, I will remember. So, I never forget. Never forget. Titans 5. Please don't ban us. No, you're good. You're fine. You'd have to say some really bad shit. Good one, hacker. Good one. Very good pinch. Yeah, you guys are all pretty wholesome. Like, we haven't had anybody mean. Nobody weird, champ, either. We haven't had any weirdos yet. So don't, don't be weird. When she holds a crutch. <laughs> Nah, nah, nah. Not it, not it. Okay. We got Titan. With a tier 1 sub. And then Gifted. There we go. And let's add some flowers. Wait till I get better. Honestly, I bet if you went, like, all out, 100% decon, you could probably beat all our asses. I don't know, maybe you just talk a lot of shit, and you're like a total pleb. There's an ant on my desk. I got it. Okay, there we go. The had Titan 5, sub, and gift the sub. I propose a duel. I don't fight, I'm a pacifist. I don't fight. I destroy people with my words. I wasn't in the debate club in high school, but I should have been. I can fucking destroy people. In a video game and on the podium. Oh! Sorry, I pulled my cord. I have a weapon as well, so don't you come at me. See my Connor 6 gun emote? I subscribed to Connor 8's pants just for that emote, so I have protection. <laughs> Against mean chatters. <laughs> okay, let's get back to our follower journal. 
You play Beat Saber? I want to, like, try a VR game at some point. But, like, I feel like it'd make me throw up. In a video game and real life. Oh. We are almost done with calligraphy, guys. Behave. This is my chat room. I can do whatever I want. Nobody can time me out. Because, like, I can't even delete my own messages in chat room, so I have to make sure I don't say bad shit. We have Ed Escape. <laughs> Tell me what to say, then you can delete it. No, no, no. My auto mod is very powerful, so don't test it. Chatter, chatter. I know we goof and gab, but seriously, don't test auto mod. You'll get timed out. Then you don't get to talk to me, and that's pretty sad. I hate your mom jokes, but now I love them. I think they're fucking hilarious. Like, I, I do them all the time in Emmy's chat. And she hates me for it, but you know, it's fun. It's an easy joke, but sometimes you gotta take it. So inappropriate, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, we have Rumana. We gotta get a new sub goal up. Forgot. Once again, thank you, Titan, for gifting subs. We hit our goal. Oh, guess what? What's what's up? What's up, Didi? What's up, Decon? Thoughts on boba? I love I love boba tea. Oh, look at me! Look at me! I'm drinking boba tea right now. Look at this! Look at that! Your mom, Lamau. Oh, you got me! Ooh! I'm gonna go home, cry, Dad. Actually, I'm home. My dad's right there in the other room. I'm gonna go cry to him and say, Decon was mean to me. He bullied me. I love Boba. I don't get it as often. Because, like, Boba is fucking expensive. So, like, I have a powder drink to where I can make it at home. I just don't have Bobas. I have, like, popping pearls. Where it's, like, the little... Where it has, like, juice inside. I have those. <clears throat> A new sub goal is up, guys. These are our long term sub goals, though. <laughs> okay, we have max 325. Yeah, because, like, I think with my popping pearls, I got a container like this big. It was like. Almost like a 3 by 4 container. And it, I've had it for months, and they're still good, so... I think it's best to just get, like, a big old pack. That way you got them whenever you want them, you know? Okay, we have max 3, 2, 5. I think K's have to be my favorite letter to write. It's just that contrast of that thin and then the thick line right here. Lovely.
Okay, we have Jackbird. Yeah. Because, like, what time is it? It's one o'clock. Because, like, all of the bobo shops in my area don't open till noon. Gotta go, no problem. We'll see you later, hacker. We're doing 3D World tomorrow, so be there. Um, Like, all of my boba shops don't open till noon. Like, I wish I could get boba in, like, the morning. Because, you know, how, like, some places have, like, a coffee flavor, and, like, those are pretty good, but, like, I can't justify drinking coffee past noon. Like I said earlier, there's, like, this Shea of Ice place that opened recently nearby. And, like, they also have boba, too. So it's like, I really want to try it. But they don't open till like, 2 p.m., I think. And it's, like, way too late. Because since it's a few towns away, I gotta, like, get there. So by the time I get there, it's, like, way too late. Okay, we have Marissa is D-E-D. -E -D. <laughs> yeah, I don't- I don't- I can't do espresso. Like, too much caffeine. Even, like, energy drinks give me the shakes. I, I don't fuck with coffee too much. Like, if I'm gonna get a coffee, I'm gonna get a frappuccino or, like, an iced mocha. And, like, that's as far as I'll go. <laughs> And I don't do tea either. Like, if I'm gonna go get a drink, I'm gonna get a fruit flavor. It's like a smoothie or like a, like a syrup drink. But if I'm at home, I usually try and drink water. Like, I usually drink like two of these a day. And this is like a 20 ounce cup. Cause like, drinks are just empty calories. And you don't need more calories. Like, I'd rather save my calories for like an ice cream sandwich than a sugary coffee, you know? Yeah, I, w I wish I could make coffee at home, but my mom, she fucking hates the smell of coffee, so I'm not, I'm not allowed to brew my own coffee. Like, whenever my grandma comes over, it's been a while since she's visited, but my mom makes her drink, like, instant coffee. Like, you know, the powder kind? She doesn't even get to brew it, because my mom hates the smell. Brew it outside. <laughs> That's what my mom told me to do! But it's like, I'm not gonna brew coffee outside of the fucking cold-ass wi Washington weather. Like, I, I like coffee, but I'm not that dedicated. Dude, I don't- okay. We have Puppy Lover 56318. I like Oreos, but or like, the cookie Oreo is like, eh. But Oreo ice cream? Amazing. Or like, Oreo McDonald's McFlurries? Did oh my god McDonald's I think they have a limited time flavor where it's like pretzel caramel or something like for the McFlurries and it looks so fucking good Okay, we have fair and mock. Oh, you don't drink your coffee or teas when you go out? That's interesting. I mean, I can kind of understand that because, like, Starbucks coffee is shit. It's, like, it's absolute dog shit. Because I think I, I... I think it's known, but, like, it was announced that, like, Starbucks, like, over... like, roast their coffee. And the reason why they do that is to get, like, a consistent flavor between all stores. So it's, like... I, I get why, but if it's gonna ruin the taste or like the product, then why do it? I don't I don't get it. Like why are you gonna serve like a shitty product? Cause like I know for me, I like the idea of having a business at some point, but like if I have my own business, I want it to be like my own invention or like my own food place or like my own product that I wanna sell. I don't ever wanna do like a franchise thing. And, like, I would just want to have one location. Because I am such a control freak, where, like, I can't trust anybody to, like, do a good job, or, like, do a good 
as good of a job as I would, you know what I mean? I, I find that drawing zeros in capital O's is very difficult. Meg made cafe. <laughs> Dude, I would fucking love to run a maid cafe. Oh my god. You guys fucking know I love maid shit. <laughs> uh, we have Dragapult 2000. Yeah, Starbucks is literally way too expensive. It I I went there the other day and I think I got I got two cake pops and then I got like I got the mango dragon fruit. It was like ten dollars. And the cake pops themselves are like two dollars, like two fifty or something. And it's like I can make cake pops at home, but every time I make cake pops, they don't come out good. Like I, I think I'm doing something wrong, so I'll have to try again. Ooh. I want to do a, a decorating stream. I know we're going to do the cookie decorating one for the sub goal. But I want to do a cupcake decorating one too. Yeah, like, it... I agree, like, you make anything at home and it's obviously going to be, like, cheaper. But I know for a lot of people, you, you pay for the convenience of, like, getting stuff on the go, right? And, like, I have time to make my own food. Like, I, I have a lot of free time. But... It's just a matter of, like, I think, okay, with cooking, you definitely have to practice, right, to get good. But I I don't like practicing shit. I, I want, like, when I do stuff, I expect to be good from the get-go. And, like, I know that's not how life is. I know that's not how you develop skills. But I just need to bake more, and then I'll get good, I guess. Oh, more zeros. I hate this. I'm going boomer brain. Because, <laughs> like, I have a lot of, like, decorating tools. Like, you know, like, the, the icing tips and, like, different shaped sprinkles and stuff. It's, like, it's all supplies that my mom bought ages ago. So they're all probably, like, ten years old. Gr granted, they're probably still good. Okay, we have zombie miners... Zero, zero, 003 Baking is better than cooking, but it's also more difficult than cooking cuz like With baking it's like actual chemistry and science So it's a lot easier to fuck it up Like okay, I literally I can make cakes. I can make cakes. I can make cupcakes I can do I can kind of do cake pops, but I can I've liver, 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 Literally never made a good cookie whenever I make a cookie like it's always too wet and runny I think it's cuz I don't like combine the butter properly I don't know, but it's always, it always like pools on my pan. So I think it's a me problem. Oh wait, another page done. Let's go. I know I said we're nearing the end, but we we are getting very close to the end. I said that like an hour ago. <laughs> my brother after macaroni mac and cheese and calling yourself a chef. Literally, that's literally my sister. <laughs> Cause, like my sister she refuses to help cook like at all i don't know maybe like the kitchen is too loud because she doesn't like loud noises there's an ant on my bed i killed it Here we have impaled.
Okay, we have Alyssa be crazy. See, I think, like, have, making frozen stuff is fine. Like, there was one time I made, like, frozen enchiladas. Like, the pre-made kind. And, like, I made my own, like, creamy avocado sauce. So I think that kind of counts as cooking, you know? Like, I didn't make everything from scratch, but it's still, like, a decent enough to, like, kind of call it cooking. <clears throat> Yeah, chatters, make something for dinner today. Make something new. Find a new recipe and make something. Because being able to cook for yourself is really good. I think it's also really good for your mental health, too. Because like, I think, like, hobbies where you do something, like, productive and, like, actually make something with your hands, whether it be drawing or, like, woodworking or just crafting, I think it's really good for you. Because, like, to have something tangible... Where you can be like, I made this, or like, I did this. I think it's really good. Okay, we have Frosty Boy. Yeah, you're right, cooking is subjective. Like, it's not for everybody. And I feel like you should learn the basics. Like, learn how to make a, a decent scrambled egg. Dude, I make such fucking good scrambled eggs. Because whenever I make my scrambled eggs, I like them to be a little bit runny, so I undercook them the slightest bit. And then I let them sit for like a minute, that way they still like cook in the pan. Here we have iced lemon vanilla to every egg I've made. Uh, I'll show you guys tomorrow. I'll make eggs tomorrow morning and I'll show you guys tomorrow. Bet. Be here tomorrow, Titan. <laughs> I threw up. Are you guys not a fan of runny eggs? I fucking love sunny side up. Okay. You guys ever try like a local mocha? It's basically like a hamburger patty over rice with gravy. And then you put a runny egg on top. It's fucking delicious. I love a good runny egg. Are you little zoomers? With your immature palates saying you don't like runny eggs? SMH, man. You guys need to grow up. <laughs> Here we have a Paco Taco truck. <laughs> you need to punch your eggs? <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> oh, you actually throw up. Oh. I'm sorry. Are you feeling a little bit better now that you- No, Decon. I really hope it you get better soon. Cause like... I haven't been sick in a long time. Babe, add it to the permitted list. Shh. That doesn't mean you guys can call me babe all the time. I know it's a term of endearment. Just don't be like, hey, baby. That's that's cringe. You're gonna put. I have literally never successfully poached an egg. I I can't do it for some reason. I can't do it. And like, I don't even like poached eggs that much. I'd rather very much have like a boil boiled egg, or like ooh like a. Because, like, if you boil eggs for, like, a short amount of time, it'll be slightly runny. Or, like, slightly jammy. I think that's my favorite. <laughs> okay, we have a taco taco truck. Dude, I said I was almost done literally an hour ago. I have no concept of time.
Here we have Daniel Thompson. Should poach an egg right now. Dude, I don't have the setup for a kitchen cam, and also my kitchen is fucking disgusting. <laughs> okay, cause like, my dad, he makes breakfast every morning for my mom, and it's really cute and sweet. But like, he doesn't clean up the stove afterwards, so there's like, salt and pepper and like, egg splatters literally all over the stove, and... Uh, oh, I hope you rest up today, Deacon. Can we get some hearts in chat for Deacon? They've been here this whole stream. You know, they're not feeling too well, but they powered through. You get some rest today, okay? Can we get some hearts and chat for Decon, please, guys? Good chatter. Wholesome chatter. My dad never cleans the stove either. I know, it's annoying. And, like, they don't even notice when you clean the stove, you know? They aren't- they're never like, Hey, Megan, thank you for cleaning the stove. I appreciate that. Like, come on, dude. <clears throat> Thank you guys for the hearts. I hope you rest up today, Decon. We'll see you later, okay? Just remember, don't push yourself too much. It's very easy to when you're sick. Know your limits. And, like, take a break when you need to. You guys are so cute. Gotta get well and trained for the fight. Uh, in Decon, you can't be threatening everybody that comes in there. Okay, okay. That's my job. I'm supposed to strike fear in all my chatters. I don't need a bodyguard just yet. Here we have Fire Strike 57. Show up with prayer accordingly. <laughs> you guys are so cute. <clears throat> You're at 16k points. <clears throat> You're getting very close to that Twitter draft, Mac. You're getting very close. Oh, we're at Titan! Nice. Yeah, you better be watching, Titan. We're writing your name again. It is on screen. Okay. Bye, Decon. We'll see you next time. Please rest easy. Please take it easy. Go eat a whole loaf of bread or something. That might help. <laughs> And then we go at Titans 5. Yeah, you're on the big screen! Oh my god! <laughs> I think it's cool when Shatters are actually here for the name. Because, like, I know not everyone tunes to every stream, which is totally fine, I get it. But I think it's cool when you're actually here to see it. It's kind of like- oh, we got under the page done. It's kind of like, you know, when you see, like, those TikTok or, like, Instagram lives where they just write the Chatters names the whole time. You're like, oh my god, it's me! I, th I think it's cute. We have Lord of Dead. <laughs> I know, so many of the TikTok live streams aren't even live. And like, it took me a long time to realize that. Like, I feel like TikTok live has potential, but it's not there yet, you know? I think that's why I like Twitch so much. Because I feel like this platform can handle like any live stream people do. Like, I think the UI. And just, like, the community is a lot better on Twitch than, like, any other streaming service. Like, YouTube is close, but it's not there yet.
We have Foggy Braze. Yeah, I love TikTok too, but TikTok Live fucking cringe. <laughs> and like, the other thing I don't like about TikTok Live is that it shows when like, people join the stream. Cause like, I know I get anxious when it shows like, oh, he said 17 joined the stream. And it's like, uh, and like sometimes they'll call you out. It's kind of like the equivalent of calling out lurkers. It just like, feels bad. I'm like, I don't want to be called out for this shit. Like, there's a reason why I'm lurking, you know what I mean? That's why, like, I try not to address chatters directly for the most part, unless you're already typing in chat. Because I don't want to make pe people feel, like, called out or uncomfy. Here we have VCR CPR. Yeah, I agree. Like, remember when, like, what was it recently? Like, Twitch released, like, his Twitch help. Or no. What was his fucking name? Not Ninja, where he's like, you have to call it every single lurker whenever they do in the stream. Like, call out the people in your user list. And it's like, whoa. That is fucking cringe. Like, people would freak their shit if that happened now, you know what I mean? Because, like, I don't have my users list open for the most part. Like, the only reason why I have my user list open is so I can see which mods are here. But I don't look at it. Okay, we have Chris Mads. <laughs> Okay, we're on the final three, guys. The final three. We're in the final stretch. Get ready to spam. I was here when I'm done. You could be like, I was here. Fog champ. Got Tiny Tim. Give it J Butler four two five five, and I think we got one more left, guys. Yep, one more left. The last follower from May. Here we have Pig Bobby 29. And we are done. Stop your timers. We run over. The follower journal is now done and updated for May. We have how many names in here? Like 424, yeah? I was here, yeah. You were here, Mac. You were here. I just tossed my pens aside because we are done. Can I put the champagne now? Yes, go for it. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and look through all the names from today. Man, this is a lot of pages. Um, I always say this for these streams, but I'm gonna keep doing these. No matter how big I get, I may be small forever, but you know, we're gonna keep doing these streams. Because I think this concept alone, old frogs know, was initially an April Fool's joke. 
where I did a six hour stream writing 200 names. And we have grown a lot recently in the past few months. But it's very easy to see people as a number or like your viewer count as a number. But there is still a person, there is still a face behind every name. We have seen a lot of growth in the past few months. Like number wise, numbers have been up in terms of like subs, average viewers, chatters, and it's nice to see that everyone who's been in stream has been nice and helpful, and I, I appreciate everyone a lot. Thank you guys so much. Um, yeah. Okay, let's go through the names. These are all from today. Chad, did you guys seriously need to keep your username short? I guess fucking cringe when your username is like a million characters long. Just saying. Hot take, but not really. You know? So these are all the people who joined the stream in the month of May. There we go. We are done. Look at that. How many pages is that? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is crazy. But thank you guys. That was fun. Did you guys have fun? I know it's a bit more chill. You guys have fun with that? Hey. Okay. Um. So, as promised. Oh, fuck. I gotta do the emote shit, don't I? Oh, no. Okay. So let me fix my camera. Okay. Oh. It was very relaxing. Well, why is the color round so fucked? There we go, that's better. Whoa. Fucking weird. Okay. So I need to disconnect my phone camera. Because it is killing my battery. My, my phone gave me an alert saying, Hey, what are you doing? This app, you're- Oh, dude, it's literally- It is so warm right now. <laughs> this could be like- I could use this to warm my hands during winter. <laughs> okay, so let's get this camera disconnected. And then we're gonna go ahead and start with editing the best of compilation. So, I did a few test streams where I um, tested on how my computer can handle Premiere for stream. I did well, um, so just keep in mind, I don't know how my computer will do today, but we will try my best and see if she can handle Premiere. Oh. oh, I don't want to see that. There we go. This is the normal angle. Okay. Switching the mobile? No problem. Okay. So I'm gonna set up Premiere. So we're gonna turn off the music. Okay. When Premiere is loading, we're gonna be on this scene. So do not freak out. I am still live. I, I just don't want everything to like fucking break. Switching the dial up literally. <laughs> Okay, no drop frames just yet. Dude, it fucking opened. Okay. I, I didn't it didn't break everything. Okay. Okay, chatters. You guys are gonna behave, okay? Because with this overlay, it's going to be slightly different. Look at that. Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Oopsie. This. Okay. So, chatters. I'm not going to leak anything. I'm not going to, I'm not going to leak. Okay. <laughs> so, oh, I got to change my time. One second.
Um, what should we title this? Editing. Editing. What could we title this? I don't know. Editing the best clips of May. I mean, what else can we call it? You know. Change this angle because I'm sitting. I love my DSLR. I love her. Okay, this this is fine. I changed my setup so this is the wallpaper does not cover my whole wall. I'm scamming guys. It's only a three by four piece of paper. Okay, let's get let's get started. <sighs> okay, so what we are doing today, guys, we are editing the best clips of May compilation which will be posted on tiktok youtube and twitter tomorrow or maybe later today no it's gonna be tomorrow 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 so yesterday during stream chatters if you enjoy the stream or if you find any clips you think are funny haha make you laugh clip it and we will react to them at the end of the month or after so yesterday at the end of stream we reacted to the best clips of may that all the chatters made and then off, off stream i went through and downloaded them all and imported them into premiere so as y'all know, I'm in art school. I'm taking a graphic design program. So I have access to majority of the Premiere programs, which is pretty fucking sick. So I'm going to use it while I have it. Chatters, if you see anything wrong with this story, make sure to tell me. Because as you guys know, I, I can't see my streaming software right now. Um, so <laughs> please tell me if anything like fucks up. Anyway, so when you're doing Premiere, um, I made a new project off stream because I didn't want to leak any document files. I don't, I don't have anything bad, but you know I don't want to leak a shit. So I made my project. It's called, okay, chatters. When you're making projects, make sure you name name them appropriately. Like, don't name them Bob Two Point Oh. Like, who's gonna know what that is? So make sure you name your projects accordingly. So this project is called Best of May Twenty Twenty Two. So I imported all of the clips here, right here on the left. So after you import the clips, you just drag them here. Why is it not importing the video? Okay, so I did it wrong. Scratch that. So what you do, you drag your source file here to the left. And then, so right here you can drag the video. Why is it not like Huh? It's letting me drag the audio. What the fuck? Oh, it's not letting me drag the audio. What the what? Why is it not letting me do it? Oh, there it is. I forgot it. I had to. Okay, so this was a locked layer. Um, I figured it out. <laughs> ignore me. Ignore me. So you have to un. You have to click this box. <laughs> I'm not a pro of Premiere. Let me let me remind you. I'm not a pro. Okay. Um, so you're gonna bring your source file here to the left. Drag down the video. And then you're gonna drag your audio. And make sure everything lines up. So when you're dragging stuff around, see how it auto locks here? Right here. Snap the timeline. This is what makes them snap. See when I disable that, it doesn't snap anymore. So make sure when you're dragging stuff over, you have the stuff snap. So this is our clip number one. Here. So right now, I'm just importing all my clip files to our timeline here. Because I want this part to be bigger. I usually edit full screen, but I'm editing in like three quarter of my screen size right now. So or instead of going here, because this is to preview your file, you can just drag it right into your timeline. It's a lot quicker too. So today essentially we're gonna be going over how to trim what makes a good clip and also how to make presets. Okay, this one is not going. I already have that one imported. Okay. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight clips. So if you look at our timeline, I usually I left a little bit of space in between that way I don't overlap the clips. It's at about four minutes right now. So we need to cut this down to a minute. Okay. So okay, chatters, tell me if you can hear the audio files. Wait, I don't think I have it as a source. I don't have it as a source now. Okay, wait, let's not not show that. Yeah. Let's not show that. 
I mean, I don't have anything bad. Oh, I found it, I found it. There it is, I found it. It's fine. Can you guys hear now? You guys can hear it, right? Tell me if you can hear it. I'm so good at this game, guys, aren't I? You can hear it, yeah, please tell me if you can hear it. I'm, I'm freaking out. Yes, okay, thank fucking God, okay. If you want it louder, tell me. Okay, so you guys can hear it now. I forgot to, because um, the way that Twitch Studio works is you can um, capture audio sources from different tabs and also just from your headset. So, like I said, this is my first editing stream. I am new. <laughs> Thank you guys, I appreciate the reassurance. Okay, the so first clip. I'm so good at this game, guys, aren't I? <laughs> I think this was your clip hacker. You're on mobile, no problem. I usually watch shit on mobile too, so you're fine. Okay, so this clip was about 15 seconds long. We're not gonna keep that full second. I? Okay. We're only gonna keep the parts when I'm talking. Because all you little zoomers from TikTok, you always click off of a video when they're whenever there's dead air. So that's why when you're streaming, make sure you're keeping, you're still talking and stuff. But for clips, you're going to want to cut out every single bit of dead air unless it adds context to you, whatever you're talking about. So right here. I'm so good at this game, guys, aren't I? Okay, we're going to trim. If we zoom in here, this is where, like, your audio peaks, right? So you're going to move your cursor to right before. Okay. I know all this shit people don't know from here, so I got to explain stuff. So if you click and drag, you can select. And then see how this little red icon comes up? It looks like a pair of doors, right? So if you move it this way, it extends your clip to the left. Move it to the right, it extends it to the right. So this is how you trim properly. You move your cursor to wherever you want it to start playing. And then select, oops. Make sure you see that red cursor and then drag whichever direction you want to trim. Word said before disaster, literally. Okay, so we're going to have the clip start here. I'm so good at this game, guys, aren't I? See how I have the clip starting right when I start talking? There's no dead air when I start talking. I'm so good at this game, guys, aren't I? <sighs> it's okay. It's fine. <laughs> it's a little bit of XCC voice. So, like, yes, if we look at the audio file right here on the bottom. Okay, this at, this at the top is video. This in the top is um, audio. So, if you look here, there is about, like, three seconds of dead air. But we're not going to cut it out. You know why? Because it gives context to what I'm talking about. Because, like, the, the clip is me saying, ooh, I'm good at this game, and then I die. That's the context, right? So you're going to want to keep in that part of dinner. So this clip, properly trimmed, ready for the comp. On to the next one. Oh, this one. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay, we're going to watch it all the way through. Like, I don't mind apples. But we I were talking about fucking like apples, with, you guys. No way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mario Kart skills coming in handy right here. Yeah, exactly. Mario Kart skills coming in handy right here. Okay. The reason why we're talking about Mario Kart is because I think Issa said Mario Kart Lamau. I spoke too soon. No, just ignore the part where I fell off the cliff. Just cut that part out. <laughs> okay, so usually when I'm editing... I will, I usually don't watch the whole clip. I just immediately skip to when I see audio peaks because that's what I'm talking. So you're going to want to keep it in whenever, whenever you're talking, right? So this right here is the razor tool. If you hold shift, see how it has this like line? This is to cut all the way through. So, and since we have the snap tool enabled, it's going to automatically snap to my cursor right here. So we're going to trim right here, trim right here. Delete this section. Oh no, it's gone. But wait, what if I want it back? What is cool about Premiere is that if you select and then drag out, 
it keeps your source file. So this is what I like about Premiere. I don't think Sony Vegas does this. So Chatters, Premiere is better. Dude, oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. There we go. Will this be on your geography quiz? No, this is art class, not geography. <laughs> okay. So we cut out that middle part. Let's bring these clips together to see how it flows. Yeah, exactly. My art skills coming in handy right here. I spoke too soon. No, just ignore the part where I fell off the cliff. Just cut that part out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so right here, we're gonna trim right here. Instead of trimming right here, see how the clip ends? You can also select, drag here to the left. So, keep in mind, if I'm doing this offline, I'm way faster. Wouldn't be at the top of my list. No way. Okay, so right here, this is where we talk about Mario Kart. So we're gonna trim right here. Where do I fall off? Right here. Oh my god! Oh no. okay, So we don't have to keep- this right here is about two seconds. We only need to keep maybe a second before. So right here where I'm approaching the turn is probably where I'm going to cut it. Oh my god! Oh no! Okay, that way it gives me context for why I said oh no, right? So we can go ahead, trim this section out, select, drag here, make sure it snaps. No. Yeah, exactly. My card skills coming in handy right here. I spoke too soon. No, just ignore the part where I fell off the cliff. Just cut that part out. <laughs> okay. So I think this one is as good as we can get. Because, like, it would have been good if I read that comment talking about Mario Kart closer to the part where I fell off, but you know, I ignored chat, Lamau. So that one is ready. That one is trimmed. <laughs> okay. Sorry. I had to check. Watch the next one. Oh, I remember this joke. This is I say it like halfway through. Whoa, rapid fire! I'm like that kid in class who stabbed everybody with their pencils. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am I am dying. Okay, so the funny joke is that I said, "Ha ha! I get to stab kids with pencils." Whoa, rapid fire! You're probably right I'm here. Like that kid in class who stabbed everybody. Cut out this part. This is why we started right here. Oh, rapid fire. You see how I start off with like, oh, like that loud, audible sound? Fire. Good place to start it. I'm like that kid in class who stabbed everybody with their pencils. <laughs> <laughs> That's a stupid joke. Okay. A short clip. You see how we cut down that like 15 second clip to like three seconds or yeah, like four seconds right here? Because remember, we only have a minute for this compilation. Oops. I don't want that to snap. Next one. Okay, this is cool. I know before it'd just be like one gust of wind, but just picturing like, I was gonna say shitting up, but you're more like coughing up ice shards. Wait, 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 I have a joke, I have a joke. This is me when I ate glass. <laughs> a lot of these clips are me laughing, which is kind of cringe. Okay, I got one comment on TikTok a while ago, and it was this person saying, oh, I watch your videos all the time, and this is the first clip where I actually like saw you laugh. They were like, you seem more like a real person now. And I was like, okay. Wait, chat, chat, chat. Anybody know what time it is? Anybody know what time it is? Anybody know? <clears throat> Anybody? Anybody? What? Don't what face me. What? Hey, we are another hour into stream. We're about to hit three hours. You guys know what that means. It is ad time, baby. So if you don't want to miss out on any more premiere, <laughs> any more premiere tips and tricks, make sure you subscribe. You can subscribe for just four ninety nine, just five dollars a month. Skip your coffee today and get ad reviewing all month long. Um, link your Amazon, your Twitch account, and get a free Prime sub every month. Or if you have any secret oilers, now is the time to give subs. Anyway, get a snack, get some water if you need it. We will see some of you guys in a few. Bye. What? Oh, more ads for you, baby. Okay, I need to see. Oh, one second. Is it loud enough for you guys? Like one gust of wind. But just oh yeah. Like, it, it's definitely loud enough. Okay. Shitting out, but you're more like <laughs> shitting out. Yeah. Okay, let's Wait, more like a little bit.
I have a joke. Okay, okay, back. Ah, I, I need to shift when I change scenes. Okay, back to it. Back to work. No more time off desk. We're, we do work for Amazon here. But just picturing, like, I was gonna say shitting up, but you're more like. Keep it right here. Okay, this is cool. I know before. Yeah, we can keep this whole part right here. Because it gives me context for what I'm talking about. Because I'm talking about the ice. The audio is lagging. It could be Premiere. If, if it. Okay, Chatters, is it just Hacker or is it. Is it everybody? I can't tell on my end. If try refresh your tab hacker, it is for you too. Uh oh. Is it for like the camera or like just Premiere? If it's just Premiere, then it could be a playback issue. Maybe I can try reset my camera. Hmm. Right now is good. Okay, so is it just in Premiere that it's lagging? Trying to think. There's nothing else I can unplug. Like I kind of have to keep everything in. Yeah, it's just Premiere. Damn. Damn. Okay. Well. Okay, this is cool. I okay, let's see. Let's actually see what it sounds. Okay, we're doing some tech check, guys. Okay. So don't break out. This don't break out. I know before it'd just be like one gust of wind, but just picturing like, I was gonna say shitting up, but you're more like coughing up ice shards. Wait, 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 I have a joke, I have a joke. This is me when I ate glass. <laughs> okay, that was not it. Okay, I'm checking the audio sync like, right now. I was gonna say shitting up, but you're more like coughing up ice shards. Wait, 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 I have a joke, I have a joke. This is me when I ate glass. <laughs> okay. Um, I think we're just gonna have to deal with the audio delay if it's just Premiere. Um, oh, also keep in mind, the playback speed in Premiere is usually never synced, typically. So it could be a Premiere thing. Like, honestly, it's probably a Premiere thing. Um. Because I remember, like, I was trying to do, like, a Flash animation, but in Premiere, so, like, I was trying to, like, translate images. Like, I, I made a graphic for Emmy Beef, and it was essentially, like, hearts, like, moving across the screen like this, like, upwards in a vertical angle. And the playback in the actual Premiere, like, preview, it was lagging. So, it's it's a Premiere issue then. Because I looked through here, and it's it's a Premiere thing. So, I, I can't do anything about that. The wind? But just picturing, like... I was gonna say shitting up, but you're more like coughing. Yeah. Because, like, the playback, so the the player here, right here, if you can see my mouse, um, it's always gonna be a little bit laggy. Because the audio, I know, like, when it exports, it'll be synced. So it'll be fine. It's just the actual player. Because you can adjust, like, the playback settings for this preview, like, on screen. Um, I don't think you can do like 60 frames per second in the preview window, but when you export it, it will be synced. So that that's just how it is, unfortunately. I assume that's what the issue is. If not, then I don't know. Then, like I said, this is my first editing stream. I know what I'm doing. Kind of, I don't know. Uh, if it's like too unbearable, then we just won't do editing anymore. This will be like a one-off stream, or like I'll watch back the vod too to see how it is. Okay, back to it. Back to work. Okay, so I think this clip is adequately trimmed because like there's very minimal dead air. Like, see the dead air here is like maybe half a second. Like, you don't want to trim that much. Like, that that's way too much trimming. Okay, this is cool. I know before it'd just be like one gust of wind. But just picturing, like, I was gonna say shitting up, but you're more like coughing up ice shards. Wait, 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 I have a joke, I have a joke. This is me when I ate glass. <laughs> Maybe? I think it'd be funny if I trimmed it right here, right after I said after I ate glass. Shatters if you knew. Um, I told this story many times, but I purchased a drink 
I, I purchased a raspberry smoothie. I took a sip. I, I chewed the raspberry seeds. And I was like, oh my God, these raspberry seeds are very hard. Turned out they were fucking pieces of glass. That's the story. I went to the hospital. I was fine. This is me when I ate glass. <laughs> I, I honestly think it's funnier if I trim it right here. Where I, I don't even laugh. <laughs> where the people, people would be like, huh? You ate glass? I, I honestly feel like that'll farm comments. Do? No. I Okay. I've told the story before, but we contacted, like, the the general, like, manager who, like, oversees, like, the regional, like, franchises, and they said, no, that literally didn't happen. Nobody told us this happened. And we were like, what the fuck? So it's like, I could sue. Like, I literally could. We could have reported them to the health department, but it was, like, not a big deal. It's like, I didn't die. I didn't get severely ill. Like, the, the ER people told me that since the glass pieces were, like, literally the size of, like, seeds, they said you'll honestly like shit it out and you'll be fine. So, yeah. Anyway, that's me. Yes. So hopefully I can start working on it. Hi, chaotic. I hope you have a good day. Okay, we watched this clip yesterday. Like the 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 juice doesn't hit till like okay? yes, halfway through. Okay. Right here. Megan, are we okay? Yes, I'm okay. I'm fine. All you little chatters love when I fail a Mario Kart, so this will pop off. Coming and chilling with us today, Megan. Are we okay, right here. So, if you're in the middle of the clip, see how, like, all these audio peaks are really close together? You have to, like, find where what you're talking about starts. Oh, right here, right here. I found it right here. Right here in the middle. So, Premiere, it only really lets you, like, move this cursor frame by frame. So, if you say something, like, halfway through a frame, you're just fucked. You're screwed. <laughs> but, like, one frame per second, like, it's fine. Megan, are we okay? See right here? That perfect cut right Megan, here is okay? good. Yes, I'm okay. I'm fine. I am A okay. I'm doing great. I am doing lovely. I'm having a good day. Okay, right here. Okay, so we see there's dead air here for like three seconds. Good day. So we need to find right where like I stopped saying day. Good day. Right here. So if we look here, see how I didn't trim right here at the end? Because if I trimmed right here, like if we listen, like you, you want to allow like a little bit of space in between. Because you don't want to be like, because if you trim it way too much, like the compile clips would be like, uh, uh, like it's way too close. You need to have like a half a second of dead air between like the following moment typically. So right here, this one is trimmed. We don't need to trim any part in between because I'm basically talking the whole time. So this one is good. This one is done. Okay, see also, when I'm done trimming the clip, I don't, like, make them snap together like this. Because I'm going to want to rearrange these clips later. Who needs school when we have Megan? No, 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 no. This is not real school. This is not real education, honey. <laughs> but wouldn't it be cool if they taught you, like, how to use, like, basic, like, editing software in school? I mean, that's honestly what TikTok does. Didn't, like, TikTok have an update where, um, they essentially had, like, a whole last editing program integrated into the app? Okay, you know how I, how I said my phone was, like, literally the burning hot earlier? It's, like, ice cold now. It's all cooled down. Okay, next clip. <sighs> I had to check. Very good. No more drop frames. Yeah, you're right. Every year with global warming, the temperature goes up, what, 0. Okay. <laughs> I think it'd be funny. Because, yeah, like, this feels like a, a global warming rant, right? Chatters, global warming is real. Anybody who tells you it is not real, they are fucking stupid and actually branded. Global warming is real, okay? Okay. Don't believe stupid, dumbass conspiracies you, sees you read online, okay? Okay. Yeah, you're right. So, right here. We're gonna cut off this first part. Every year. Because, like, it just makes me seem like a libtard, right? Let me clarify. I love Hassan Abi. I am a progressive. I love socialism. Every year with global warming. <laughs> I think it's funny. I just start off with, like, a global warming, right? Every year with global warming, the temperature goes up, what, 0.01%, but still, we feel it. I think it was either last year or the year before, right? Like, Washington State had... No, I fell off. I fell off. I literally... Please, I had a solid fourth place. I had it. I had it. Okay, right here. 
Right here is where I can cut it. Like, right after I get bolted. Yeah, because I don't think I talk about anything else right here. Because if you look at it, if we look at the audio section here, you can see the peaks. That's what I'm talking, right? But see all these, like, little, like, jigga jiggas? That That's the game audio. Because when I, the VODs, when I download them, um, it saves all the audio sources together. That's why I can't play copyright music on stream. I know there's softwares where it'll automatically remove it from your VOD, but honestly, don't trust it. Because one time it fucked me over. Like, it didn't work properly, and I was pissed. So I lost a VOD. Sag. Um, so if we look at this clip that we trimmed, it is a whopping about 13 seconds long. A bit too long, honestly, for a minute compilation. Because the whole point of, especially with this compilation videos, they don't do well when compared to like other TikToks. You know why they don't do well? It's because they show clips of multiple games. So a lot of my clips on TikTok, or all of my clips are like either Mario Kart or Animal Crossing. So if a chatter sees like Kirby, they're like, Megan plays Kirby? What? So, and also the algorithm doesn't know that I play Kirby all the time. So these compilation videos don't do as well. Like, they don't perform as well number-wise when compared to other clips. Um, so I have to ensure for these specific monthly compilations that I cut out all non-contextual... Oh, not all non-contextual... Cont uh, cont <laughs> non-contextual dead air. That way, I'm always... There's always something to listen to with the clip, right? Because whenever there's dead air, people are going to swipe off or click off. But they're fun to watch. Yeah, I agree. I like the compilations a lot. But they don't perform as well number-wise. Which is fine. I don't care. I think the compilations are good. Because um, if you look on TikTok, a lot of people will pin their most popular video. But I always pin either a new YouTube video preview or a best of comp. Because I feel like the comps give a good idea for what my commentary style is. So I don't think I'll ever pin a popular video for my TikTok. Okay, back to it. So right here... I talk about global warming. But still, we feel it. So right here. I feel it right here. I think. Okay, right here. See how I said I think, and then I paused for like two seconds? Fucking cringe. It was either last year or the year before, right? Like, Washington State had- No, I fell off. I fell off. It was either last- Okay, right here. I think we can trim right here, right before. It was either- Right here. So we can cut out that two, three seconds of dead air. Yeah, so see how I trimmed it right here where I start it saying it? Okay, let's combine these, see how the transition is. But still we feel it. It was either last year. Okay. So but listen. But still we feel it. It was either There was like a solid second pause where I go from feel it to isn't it. Right? So I feel like that's too long a pause. So we're gonna trim it a little bit. We feel it. Right here. So we're cutting out about half a second right here. Let's see how it sounds. Still, we feel it. It was either like that was that's a lot better. Cause seeing how trimming out that like half a second to a second, cause like it immediately goes into my next talk talk not talking point my next topic right. Still, we feel it. It was either lovely transition, beautiful. Okay, so now we trim down that thirteen seconds to. Oh, it's still fifteen seconds. <laughs> Oopsie! Well, well, we'll see. Like I said, we have a minute. We'll see which of these eight clips are good enough to keep in that minute. Okay, next. Do this. No, no! Oh! Did you guys see that? Somebody clipped that shit. That was fucking epic! Wait, I died. <laughs> Oh, oh no. <laughs> okay, another thing you have to consider is not only, like, the audio, but also the visuals on screen. So, like, see how this clip, like, there's always something moving on this part of the clip, right? Because it's act the actual gameplay. And then right here where I'm talking, it's just a still screen. Like, there's nothing really moving in the game screen. So this, having nothing moving in the game section of your clip is going to make people click off. Like, I've noticed on the clips... Because, like, there's something, there's sometimes will be clips where, like, um, I'll be talking on, like, the loading screen or, like, a still screen in Animal Crossing. They don't do well. Or they, they do well, but not as well. Um, 
Because if there's nothing moving on the screen, you're not keeping their attention. I think that's a big reason why. Hot take. Hot take. What you will see from a lot of new editors or new creators is clips or videos with an, an enormous amount of edits. To me, it shows your lack of experience because obviously you just think funny haha filters or funny haha effects will make a good video, which it does not. It might attract little fucking five-year-olds who watch Mickey Mouse Clubhouse all day, but it does not mean it's a good video. I think my, okay, my, okay. Oh, uh, I keep on saying okay. But the whole point of the branding, and if you're going to make content, you have to think about your brand a lot. You have to think about what type of content. You have to think about consistency, right? So, like, if you guys follow me on TikTok, you guys know what my videos are. It's me, face cam, the gameplay, and me talking about random shit. That's my brand. Because, like, I want to be seen as a relatable person, right? That is my brand. So... Randomly, if you guys saw a clip with like 420 Blaze It style edits, wouldn't that be kind of weird? Wouldn't that be out of place, right? So you have to make sure your editing matches with your branding or like your brand image. Um, so, yeah, that that's what I wanted to say. So anyway, going back onto it. So like, I feel like an occasional like meme edit is fine, but like if your whole clip that is 30 seconds long is just fucking meme, edit, meme edits. Bad clip. Poor editing. Lack of experience. Not good. Cringe. Um, that's my take. That's why I typically don't add a lot of complex edits. Because I, to me, to an extent, I feel like they're gimmicky. They, they have no real, like, reason to have them there besides to add an edit. And I feel like that's not good, uh, that's not a good enough reason to justify spending like a lot of time adding edits because like you know when you open like TikTok or Instagram they have the filters there and ready that's not how these programs work typically unless it's already like uh like a preset here like in the effects tab like effects is essentially filters but they're a lot harder than clicking a button you have to like actually like adjust the settings and shit so I can't justify spending twenty minutes. To do like this really complex like animation and then a shake on a PNG image if it's not gonna be that effective. Like, yes, it may attract and retain people's attention, but I don't feel like it'll be good for an edit. Anyway, enough for my rant. Just don't do fucking cringe shit for no reason. Always have intent and meaning behind all of your design decisions. That is a sign of a good designer. Wait, I died. <laughs> Okay, so right here, I might change my mind on this later, but see how- Wait, I died. Hmm. You see how, like, I stopped talking here? Let's see how, like, the game screen, like, fades to black because Bowser? Ugh, I don't know. Because, like, the do 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 like, the game over sound? Like, it makes sense. People recognize that sound. But also, if you- okay. For example, let's say this is my final clip. Died. Isn't that a jarring cut? You see how it, it basically cuts to black to full color? That is a very jarring cut. So, I think for this specific clip, I am not going to keep this last two seconds. Because I feel like anytime you cut from like black, like straight black or straight white to like a full color scene, it's jarring, right? Unless there's a fade. And for these type of compilations, a fade does not do well because you want it to be quick. You want it to be a quick cut. So I'm going to trim this part out because having the full screen black is not, it's very jarring. It's, it's bad. I'll probably trim it to here, I think. Wait, I died. <laughs> okay, so I think that is good. So right here. Do this. No, no. Okay. So we don't really need this first part. So I think right here, where I'm jumping from the wall, and then I say no, I think we will trim it to here. No, no. Because we could trim it here to where I'm saying no. Oh, actually, let's see. No, no. Hmm. But see that that doesn't really give me context for why I'm falling. 
Because see right here, you can see I'm on the wall, and then I jump, and then I miss. And then I ground pounded surprisingly to the left like a fucking pro. And then I say somebody clip this shit, Lamau, and then I fall off. Or, okay, let's actually walk to this part. Did you guys see that? Somebody clipped that shit. That was fucking epic. Wait, I died. <laughs> okay, so typically, I would trim this part out where it says, oh, clip this, and then cut to where I say I die. But see, as we explained earlier, you have to have... Okay, that is a very bad action. Ignore that. Ignore that. Um, <laughs> um, you have to have context for why what you're... For, you have to have context for what you're saying. So we could trim this out, but for context, I, I died in this part, right? So I need to keep that in. So I think this clip is trimmed adequately. Here is the last clip. We didn't have a lot of Mario Kart clips. I have a joke. Tell me if it's stupid. I said, man, the Nickel Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards look different this year. <laughs> different this year. <laughs> so, I was on the fence about this clip. Like, I feel like the joke was good. The joke was good. It was pretty solid. But, as we talked about it yesterday, like, it doesn't line up with this part, right? So, maybe what I can do... I have a joke. Tell me if it's stupid. This can be like the closer. I said, man, the nickel nickel Oh wait, I just realized. Because the game screen does not line up with the face cam. I was gonna say maybe I can like okay, this is what I was thinking. This is what I was thinking. It's not gonna work because this doesn't sync. Going to. Oh fuck. <laughs> We're gonna trim here. Oh wait, I didn't unlink these. So see how this is linked? How when I click on the video or the audio it still moves together? If you unlink you can move them separately. So I forgot to unlink everything. There we go. So what I wanted to do is go like this. I said you don't need this. Delete this. Is like, do this. Man, the Nickel Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards look different this year. <laughs> okay. So see how, like, the visual of the game matches up with the joke, right? But, see how my face isn't moving? It's because the Face cam doesn't line up. So what we are going to do, we are going to do some movie magic. So we are going to learn how to crop. We were going to go into this later because right now we're working on the um, horizontal video, but we're going to go into cropping early. I'm just checking my uptime right now because I can be live for about another hour. Okay, so movie magic, how to crop. You're going to want to copy and then... Paste. Okay, Keynote. When you're pasting in Premiere, always move your cursor where you want the thing to paste. So see how it pasted right at the start of my cursor? So just keep that in mind. Because let's see, I did that right here. And then I pasted. See how it overlaps? I just lost this previous file. Easy undo, easy clap. I got it back. Okay, movie magic. Go. I'm going to put this one on top. We're going to select it. So we're going to go to Effects, type in Crop. So these are all my previous presets I have saved, but we have to make a new one. We're going to go to Crop. We're going to hold and drag, release. See how this icon right here changed to purple? This is FX. That means you add an, an effect to that video clip. So now we're going to click on it to select right here, Effect Controls. So we're going to scroll down. We're going to go into more of this detail of this later. So these are all the current effects that are motion. This is motion is to translate it. So to move it to the left or right, you can click and hold and see how I can move it. Let's undo that. The way it lines up. So to move up and down, 
hold and drag. Scale is to make it bigger or smaller. Rotation is obviously to rotate it. Anchor points, you can change the axis of rotation because it defaults to the center of your plane. Opacity, if you want to change how, I guess, transparent it is. Kind of like a ghost. <laughs> okay. So to show you what uh, the difference is. So this is an audio file raw without any effects on it because it automatically has motion position scale by default and opacity. But see this one, the one that we applied the crop to, it's going to be here. So you select crop. So uh, before we do this, I'm going to hide this layer. That way I'm only looking at this one that I'm cropping. So, so to crop, right here are your, are your settings. So to crop from the left, hold and drag. So you're not usually going to get... Oh, that's actually pretty close. So this is 1%. Let's see what point eight looks like. Okay, I want a perfect crop. I don't want this to have any orange border. So I think literally 1% was perfect. Cropping from the top. Okay, 10%. Let's try 10.2. Right there is perfect. Okay, see right here? I don't know if you guys can see it on your screens, but there's like a tiny, teeny, tiny orange dot because the borders on my cameras are rounded. So I have to make sure to get rid of the orange dot. So let's try 10.3. It's still there. 10.4. Okay, let's try and increase the left crop to 1.1. There we go. That orange dot is now gone. You guys probably can't see it, but I can see it was bothering me. Okay. Um, let's see. So if crop from the right. Right now I'm cropping the gameplay. That is a bit too much, so let's try that is a 28. Let's try 27.5. See what the crop looks like. Still a bit too much. Try 27.3. So when you're cropping, like I said, you can either drag left or right, right here in the center, with the actual percentage, but you usually have to go in and type in individual values to like get the actual precise crop. I think that was good. So this is 18, let's try 18.5. Not enough, let's try 18.8. .8. Right there. Oh, there's still a little orange down on the bottom. And the left. Four. Okay, right there. Perfect crop. I cropped the gameplay perfectly. So, I actually have to make a new set of presets. So, right here, presets right here are essentially like, um, you know how we dragged and dropped the crop effect to it? Um, when you make a preset, see this right here? Um, just to show you how a preset works. Oh, oh, well, I was like, why is it not showing? It's because I have the layer in it. Okay. So let's unlink these. Okay, so this right here, crop the place right here. Isn't that crazy? Because I made this preset to crop the place. Look, I didn't have to move my scales. I didn't have to type any values. So presets are game changers. They are lifesavers. It saves you so much time. Because if you make a new crop or new effect, you just save the preset and then you can automatically use it on your next project. Presets are game changers. I can easily undo that. So these are all my previous presets that I made for my previous overlay. But as you guys know, I changed my background. You can see how there's like a different color background for like every single stream now. Um, so I had to change my camera. I had to change my game setup a little bit. So I have to change my presets. I have to make new ones. So actually, so to save a preset, you're going to select whatever effect it is. You right click, save preset, title it appropriately. Don't call it Bob 2.3 because like I said, you're always going to want to name your projects and all of your um, project assets where if you gave your file to a new person, they can easily understand what everything is. So we're going to call this crop gameplay new. I'm going to rename these later, but since these are new, Actually, okay, I forgot to mention. You can make bins. New custom bin right here. We got a new folder right here. No, this is not actually not what I want. I don't want. How do I add a new? Oh, right here. Oopsie, I, I did the wrong thing. So effects, click the little menu, new presets bin. We're going to call this 
Um, stream. 900p new. You can see how I already have a stream 900p preset bin here. That's because, as I said, I changed my overlay, so I need to make a new set of presets. When you are saving presets, you have to make sure whatever bin you want it in, you have to have it selected before you save your preset, because it'll automatically save to that bin. So we're gonna call this crop crop gameplay new. Okay, we're gonna click OK. If we check here, look, it saves to that preset bin we made. Chatters, if you're gonna actually make professional stuff, you're gonna have a lot of folders, a lot of bins. So make sure you know how to use them. Um, so this is my previous preset. So if we look here, we made that preset, right? Let's go to another clip. We hold and drag. Look, it automatically crops. Look at that shit. Isn't that fucking cool? Okay, presets are cool. Anyway, back to the actual project at hand. So essentially what we are trying to do so we arrange rearrange a little bit we're gonna line up what is this actually what is this? okay wait 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 i think i did it i think i did it okay I said, man, the Nickelodeon Nickel Kids' Choice Awards look different this year. <laughs> okay. So see how earlier we talked about the issue of, like, because the original audio file, I didn't like the gameplay that was showing, right? But now, actually, let's see what it looks like now. I said, man, the Nickelode Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards look different this year. <laughs> okay, see how... Like, the visual of the game looks better, right? And there's no uh, there's no game audio playing anyway, so it's not like the aud the game audio is going to desync. So, we did a little movie magic here. So, they give it a little bit more enticing visual. It's kind of like, you know when you see a movie and there's, like, B-roll footage? It's kind of like that. I'm checking my frames. Everything is looking good. Okay, let's watch again. Play. I said, man, the Nickelode Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards look different this year. <laughs> okay, I was going to say, why is the video lagging? But I feel like that cutscene was slow. I feel like it was meant to be slow. So we did a little movie magic here. We rearranged the gameplay. You see how that crop is perfect? Oh, wait, it's almost perfect, actually. It's a little bit crooked. Uh, maybe? I need to change the crop a little bit because see how like this border isn't a full size. Actually increase. That's a little bit better. Yeah. I think I okay. Talking about that, I, I'm very critical of people. So fellow creatives, I will be harsh on people like that I'm close to because I know they can take criticism. So like I know people will criticize me. I don't care. Because, like, to me, critiques are meant to, like, make your shit better. Right? I'm in art school. You submit a drawing. They grill the shit out of it. So I'm used to it. So it's like, like I said earlier, there always has to be intent and reason behind your design decisions or, like, your creative decisions. So I'm also the kind of person to take things way too seriously as well. <laughs> so um, I know today we're breaking down a bit more of my process. It's probably not the easiest way of doing things. And I am, like, um, elongating things with my, ex with my explanations to make it a little bit more clear. Um, but, yeah, I, I care about what I do. I put a lot of time and effort into things. It may seem like simple shit, but I always, there's always a reason behind everything I do. Uh, so, yeah. Talking about TikTok, I need to post my second TikTok of the day. Um, can I just say, yo? Oh, wait, I don't... Oh, fuck, I don't have an Animal Crossing draft made! I'll do it after stream. End me. I said, man, the Nickelode Nickelode Phone? I'm not a phone streamer. <laughs> okay, if we look here, the crop didn't line up properly. Let's fix that. Yeah, because see how there's, like, a black bar here on the right? That means I didn't crop good.
Oh, that's wild. It translated a little bit. That's why the crop didn't line up. There we go. I accidentally translated. 800. That's why the crop wasn't lining up. Okay, I'll have, to, I'll have to change that preset. We'll have to delete it and make a new one. Damn. It's because you might have not seen it, but the original value here, the left right value is 800. This one was set to 797, so I accidentally translated it. So I'm going to fix this crop. Damn. See, this is why I hate like changing my overlay like a little bit. Like even if you're off by like five pixels, it messes your preset. So it's like <laughs> this is why I don't change my overlay. This is why I use the same overlay every stream. Because like it 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 makes it a bit more difficult for cross posting. Oh look, see, look, that crop lines up perfectly now. I said, man, the nickel nickelodeon kids' choice of words look different this year. <laughs> Okay, so movie magic. We learned the basics of cropping. Okay, so I think that's good. We have all eight of our clips successfully trimmed. So what you can either do is you can either select and drag. Oh, fuck. I did the wrong thing. Or you can go to sequence. Make sure you don't have a, um, a clip selected. You go to sequence, close gap. Oh, wait. So you deselect everything, sequence. Oops, close gap. And see how it pushed everything together? That way you don't have to drag and potentially overlap your clips. Okay. So let's see what the damage is. We trimmed everything. Oh, fuck. Our clip, our total playtime is at a minute 24. A bit too long. So we're going to have to tr cut some shit up. I'm so good at this game, guys, aren't I? Okay, honestly, we don't need this one. We don't need this one. We don't need it. That one was that one was good, but not good enough. Okay, cut out that first one. Let's see what our timestamp is at now. One fifteen. Oh, take note. Take note. See how when I'm moving my clips, I'm moving my cursor to. Oh, I don't. I forgot to mention it. So if you click this, this is your playback. This is your player, right? So to move your cursor back to the start right here at zero zero, you click here, go to go to in, and then it automatically moves your cursor to the start. And then you drag all your clips to see how like that magnet, those little gray triangles show up. So if you don't do that, right here. See how it doesn't snap? And when I go to my start, oh wait, what the fuck? Okay, sometimes if you don't do the snap. Where you move your cursor to the zero zero button and then you move your clips to the left sometimes there'll be like a half a second of dead air like a half a second of a black screen and i didn't know that till like a month of editing so that's why like in some of my old ass clips there's like a, a half a second of a black screen so it doesn't move properly so make sure you magnet here to the start right now it's at 115. Yeah, exactly. My card skills coming in handy right here. I spoke too soon. No, just ignore the part where I fell off the cliff. Just cut that part out. Whoa, rapid fire. I'm like that kid in class who stabbed everybody with their pencils. <laughs> right now, we're okay, rewatching everything cool. to see like the flow. Just be like one gust of wind. But just pick okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the clips up that are Kirby. That way we can identify which clips are Kirby and which are not. The Kirby clip. Like I was gonna say shitting up, but you're more like coughing up ice shards. Wait, wait, wait! I have a joke. I have a joke. This is me when I ate glass. Megan, are we okay? Yes, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm fucking fine. stupid. I am a okay. I'm doing great. I'm doing lovely. I'm having a good day. Every year with global warming, the temperature goes up what 0.01 percent, but still we feel it. It was either last year or the year before, right? Like Washington State had. No, I fell off. I fell off. I literally. Please, I had a solid fourth place. I had it. I had it. No, no! The Odyssey are gonna move up here. Oh! Did you guys see that? Somebody clipped that shit. That was fucking epic. Wait, I died. I said, man, the Nickelode Nickelodeon kids' choice of words. Okay. So I think we're gonna need to rearrange the clips a little bit. 
because I like to alternate between like one of each type of game. So it would be like ABC, ABC. So like Kirby, Mario, SN3, and then repeat. Um, so we are still at a minute 15. We have a lot of Kirby clips. If you look at this, this is one, two, three, four. So, and then we only had two Mario Kart was and was one SM3. So we're gonna have to cut one of these Mario Kart or one of these Kirby clips. Um, I feel because like I want to try and showcase like my jokes more. So like like I said, these compilations are meant to give a taste of my commentary style. So I think we're gonna have to cut the Kirby Mario Kart bit because that one is kind of eh. It wasn't even my joke, so cutting that one. Okay, let's see what our timestamp is at now. Ah, uh, still over a minute, five seconds. Hmm. See, it's hard with these. So, like, find... You only have a minute. I'm doing great. I am doing lovely. I'm having a good day. Every year, with global warming, the temperature goes up, what, 0.01%, but still, we feel it. It was either last year or the year before. I thought the global warming bit was funny, but now, out of context, I don't know if it's funny. Because, like, it, it just seems so random, right? It doesn't match, like, the rest of the video. And, like, it's not even a joke. It's more of, like, a shtick that I'm trying to be, like, a lib, right? Let me clarify, I'm a progressive, I am not a lib. Like I said, it's hard to find what is like good enough to keep. Like Washington State had no, I fell off. Maybe okay. Hot take. I think maybe we get rid of the global warming bit. Kinda dumb, kinda stupid. Not even a real joke. Maybe right here. No. No. Right here. No, I fell. Maybe, like I said, maybe we need to keep a little bit of context right here. Head. No, I. I don't want to keep where I said head, because that that's cringe. No. I no. Hmm. Me, uh, it's hard. This is why, like, I love Mario Kart clips, but then, like, shit happens right in the right in the middle of when I'm like talking. No. You see, like that sound at the start. No. That the da at the start's kind of weird. Okay, I think I'm just gonna trim to where I say no. Right here i think right here is good because you, you want to try and like avoid having like weird sounds that's why i usually cut out like anytime i grunt or groan or like if i take a gasp of air like <gasps> like in the middle of when i'm talking which i sometimes do i don't i don't know it's fucking weird no i think right here starting where i say no is good see what our time length is now okay we're down to 57 right here we're at a minute this is golden. We are at a minute. Whoa, rapid fire. I'm like that kid in class who stabbed everybody with their pencils. <laughs> okay, this is cool. I know before. Okay, now we need to determine which is the best clip to open with. Or it'd just be like one gust of wind. I feel like this is fine. Okay, I think the best flow is the pencil bit first. And then, the Megan, are you good? SM3D World, because that's another fail. People like fails. Aren't there three minute videos? Yes, but for YouTube shorts, only one minute. And longer videos on TikTok don't do well, unless it's like someone talking to the camera. Like, you know, like the story time videos where like, oh my God, this is the customer service story I had today. Like people like, they love that shit. For, for a compilation like this, gaming videos do not do well if it's more than 30 seconds. 
because gaming isn't very popular on TikTok. I mean, it does seem like it's big, but it's not as popular. Like, people don't go to TikTok for gaming clips. So, it's another thing I have to keep in mind. I think I got my camera in the mail, guys. Okay, anyway. Um, so, we had the pencil joke. We had, are you good? SM oh, wait, no, that was a Kirby. Fuck. Wrong clip. Where's the... Oh, right here. Probably the SM3D World clip is good. Okay, these last two Kirby clips aren't as, like, punchy. So I think instead of doing a Kirby clip, because, you know, I said I wanted to do A, B, C. I think I want to do a Mario Kart clip. Because most of you guys from TikTok watch Mario Kart. Like, those are my more popular videos. Um, Because usually with these compilations, we didn't get any Animal Crossing clips, guys. Well, I guess I'm not that funny during Animal Crossing. I'm more, like, real. Okay. So I think this order is good because Kirby, a, a good joke. Are you good? A fail moment. Another fail moment. Another fail. Uh, a comedy joke. And then a more like mellow joke. Oh, okay. Another good reason why this um, ice glass one is a good one to keep at the end. You know why? Stars. Wait, wait, wait. I have a joke. I have a joke. This is me when I ate glass. Just the cut that it ends there. Don't you want to hear it loop again to be like, huh? What? She ate the fucking glass? You'd want to loop the video again to hear it, right? And on TikTok, wait. I'm trying to think. I think if the video is under a minute long, you can't like scroll through to like skip ahead, I don't think. Or is it it's 30 seconds or a minute to where you can't scroll through? So I think right now is pretty good. What we have right here is solid. Okay, let's watch it one more time. Rapid fire. Make sure the transitions are good. I'm like that kid in class who stabbed everybody with their pencils. <laughs> Megan, are we okay? Yes, I'm okay. I'm fine. I am a okay. I'm doing great. I'm doing lovely. I'm having a good day. No, no. Oh! Did you guys see that? Somebody clipped that shit. That was fucking epic. Wait, I died. No, I fell off. I fell off. I literally. Yeah, the global warming bit actually stupid. Good thing we cut it. And by we, I mean me. Man, the Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards look different this year. Okay, this is cool. I know before it'd just be like one gust of wind, but just picturing like I was gonna say shitting out, but you're more like coughing up ice shards. Wait, wait, wait! I have a joke. I have a joke. This is me when I ate glass. I think this is pretty good. This is pretty solid. Because my emphasis on my type of editing, it's about timing. Yeah, it's just about timing. Like, you have to make sure your trims are good. Like, you don't need any fancy edits, because, like, at its core, you have to make sure, like, what you're saying or what you're talking about is substantial enough. Um, there's a lot of times of clips I will see on TikTok, on Hover, where it's just, like, a three-minute sound bit that has no context. And it's like, what is what is the substance of your video? Like, how why is this entertaining? Like, it'd be a much better sound from, like, a soundboard than an actual clip or video. Like I said, those type of edits just show you aren't, you don't understand that things have to have value and substance, right? Um, yeah. Any thoughts? Are you, are you guys liking this so far? Are you guys, like, taking notes? Or... <laughs> Okay, can I, how long have we been doing this? What time did we start? Oh, like 40 minutes ago. Wow. I don't longer. Um, usually I can get this done in like 20 minutes. Like, because all the stuff that I verbally explained to you guys, like, I just, I always think about in my head. So, anxiety brain, you always have like 10, like a million things going around in your brain. Um... But I can, I can get, if I did this by myself, Oblon, I could get this done in 20 minutes. Because I already know what I think is good, you know? Um, but I just wanted to give you guys some insight. So this is the vertical video. So we're here. Yeah, thank you. I mean, I did, I don't expect you guys to be chatting much. Like, I'd rather you guys, like, be actually listening and, and like, digesting what I'm saying. Because I'm not a pro. I'm not a, a content creator. I don't get paid. 
actually, guys, I'm excited. I get, I get a Twitch payout for May. We hit the threshold. I'm so excited. I that's why I bought the new camera because I I can afford it this month. Once again, thank you guys for supporting the channel and supporting me. Um, so I'm not a real content creator. I I'm not popping off. I'm not popular, but I think I'm doing well for my size. You know, I was talking to Scootish about it. And, like, he says my engagement in terms of, like, my like-to-comment ratio to views is, like, insanely high. Um, to talk about numbers real quick, like, my TikToks, um, they usually get, like, 10% likes. And then I usually get, like, like 4 to 10 comments on a normal video. Granted, two of the comments are me. Because chatters, chatters. When you see a TikTok that has comments on it, you're going to want to click on it, right? You're going to be like, ooh, what is everybody saying about the video? So if you see a video with, like, 5 likes and 2 comments, you're like, huh? How to get two comments already? Well, those two comments were me, bitch. Anyway, I'm just, I just know how to farm the algo. I'm a fucking bro. I should make a self-help book. Okay. So, I think this is good. This is solid. Yeah, this crop is good. Okay. I was worried about it, but it's good. It's You can't- You literally can't even tell that I cropped the gameplay over it. You can't tell. Okay. So... Okay, so... Now we have the main video done. We're gonna I okay, chatters. I forgot to say literally control S, control S, save every like five seconds. I didn't do that today, I forgot. Um okay, right now we have the horizontal video done. Now we're gonna make the vertical video because all you little zoomers see the vertical video. So I'm gonna make a new project. What I usually do is I will do um save as so right now off screen because i didn't want to show my files i did a a file save as and i titled this best of may 2022 vertical vertical okay so now we're gonna do more cropping because now that we have the raw file done now we just have to rotate and crop and and like move everything to make it fit a vertical video so I see all of these tips and tricks on like how to upload to TikTok or like how to upload to YouTube Shorts. And like there's special like websites you can go to that will automatically crop and clips and trim shit for you. But I feel like one, I can understand people don't have a lot of time to cross post and that's totally fine. But you need to like we spent 20 minutes today like me extra explaining like, there has to be, like, intent and meaning be between, like, every single, like, trim and cut you do. And I feel like the shit that, like, automatically trims your videos don't do well. Because, like, if I have a clip that's 20 seconds long, and in that 20 seconds there's, like, five segments where there's two seconds of dead air, that means there's only 12, like, wait, I said there's 10 total seconds of dead air, therefore 15 seconds of you actually talking. In those 10 seconds of the air, people are going to click off. They're going to swipe up. So, trim your shit well. You see how this compilation is 57 seconds? It's essentially me talking the whole time. And if you look at the actual, like, audio, right here. Very minimal dead air. Like, like a half second of pause for me to, like, breathe. And right here, this is dead air is for context. Because... Whenever there's dead air, you have to make sure there's context. Something moving on screen. Otherwise, trim it. Cut it. Right? And over here. This was like... The dead air right here is me moving back in my chair. So still motion on the screen. Also motion from Mario Kart. So... This, to me, is a good... Properly trimmed compilation. Good trimmed clips. Pretty solid. So, um... If anybody has access to, like... Sony Vegas or Premiere. Try the free try the free trial. Cause get used to the UI. Get used to the interface of these like higher, I guess, premium programs. Cause like it gives you a lot more insight. Like there's so many tools. Look at all these like effects tools right here on the right. There's so many. And all of those free sites, they're good. They are a good resource, but you're missing out on a lot. And Adobe Creative Cloud, only $50 a month. I know it's expensive. But $50 to get access to all of the Adobe programs? That is insane. Dude, if I get sponsored by Adobe one day, I would fucking cry. Because I love their programs so much. Like, I know I said 
I would I literally would never take an energy drink sponsor because like they they give me shakes. But the only sponsor like I would love to do if I ever get popular, I would I would love to do like a stream with Adobe. Just this whole stream today I'm teaching how to use the program. I am teaching you like how to use this st- specific shit in the program. Like I would I would love to do something with Adobe if I'm ever like big. I would love that. Because, like, especially encouraging, like, creative careers and, like, creative stuff is important. I don't know why, for some reason, I started tearing up. I think I'm tired. <laughs> I'm not sad, I promise. You can't see it on screen, but I started tearing up. I was like, why am I crying? Okay. Um. Anyway, so this is a new project. Right now, we're working on the vertical video. So now, we have our perfect compilation made. Um... As I was, I was I will, as I was explaining earlier, you know how I said it's jarring when there's a cut from like a color scene to black. See right here, that cut where it's like a red background to like that black um, screen where it says like my, my incentives. That's kind of jarring, isn't it? Because you know how I explained earlier how we trimmed out this section right here where it, oh I need to unlink. So see how like we cut out this part right here because that that black is too much it's too much bad transition okay anyway stop stalling let's actually fucking start cropping okay so let's see oh i didn't i deleted the preset didn't i oh dude okay let's make a new preset make sure you have your preset bin selected that way when you save your preset it's going to save here so now we have to crop oh wait i forgot so I'm going to move all of these to one, not layer, but what you call it. Wait. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I'm going to move these all up. Oh, I, wait, you have to unlink everything. Unlink. I usually unlink everything from the start, but I forgot today. I'm going to move these all up. Because remember when we copy and paste stuff, it automatically pastes on the bottom layer right here. So we are going to... Copy all of these. Well, actually, we just need to copy a face cam layer. So copy, paste. What? Why did it paste there? The fuck? I hate this. Okay, we're going to copy. Deselect. Why is it pasting there? What the fuck? It usually doesn't paste there. What? Huh? I figured it out. Okay, this was about, I I figured it out. I, I hate these buttons. I don't know what the fuck they do. <laughs> but when I select this, this makes it the main layer that whatever it pays to. I'm not a pro. Adobe, don't sponsor me just yet. I'll get good. Okay, so now we have two layers of the exact same footage, right? Wait, do you guys see this? You might not see it. Look closely. See how the face cam shifts up like 10 pixels on this one? <sighs> We're gonna have to make a new crop. Fuck me, dude. It's fine, it's fine. I'm, I'm not mad. Okay, so we're gonna make a new crop. Like I said, it's annoying when like your overlay is off by like even five pixels. It messes up my presets and it pisses me off. Okay, we're gonna find the crop. It's under transform, apply it. Also, if you wanna apply it to multiple, you select them all. Holy shit, they're all cropped now. Oh, wow. Okay. Wait, I should not have done that because we need to make the preset first, Lamau. Okay, so we're going to crop the face cam. <laughs> so we're going to hide this layer so we can actually see this one. Okay, so that is 73. Let's try 73.5%. Perfect. Ooh, very close. Probably like a 65.2. Perfect. The right. The 1%. Let's try 1.5. I still see an orange dot, so let's try 1.7. Okay. Oh, perfect. Okay. So now we have the face can corrupt. So now you're going to select, crop, right-click, save, preset. Gotta go, no problem. I appreciate hanging out with us today, Tanuki. 
Got to see your name written. Let's go. I hope you have a great day. I hope you learned something today, too. We'll see you next time. Okay. Save preset. We have... Oh. Wait. Make sure you have the proper bin selected. Okay, so presets. Stream 900, 900p new. Now we have our preset bin selected, so it's going to go to that bin. You right-click, save preset. So crop. Face cam new. And now it should save to that bin. Yeah, let's fucking go. Okay, let's see if it works. Oh my god! Oh no, the face cam is off again! You know why this happens? Because the way... I love this. The way that, like... You see how, like, my, my camera is usually in the same place every day. Where? No. I got rid of it. <laughs> the way that, like, my camera captures, I use a capture card, and sometimes it, like, is off by a little bit every day, so I have to, like, move it back in the same block. It's like, wait, I could lock the layer. Oh my god, I could lock the layer. Sorry, I just... If you don't know how to stream, it might not make sense, but I could just lock the fucking layer and it won't move. Oh my god. Why did I never think of that? Back to it, and Changes. Okay. So now, see how there's that blue ribbon? Or that blue border on top? We gotta get rid of this shit. Fix the crop. There we go. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> All of these are off. See, like, the one stream where, like, my face cam is off by a little Oh, wait, the crop should fit on that fucking scene. I love this. I love my job. I don't have a job. Okay, what was this one? From the top, 66.2. 66.2. There we go. See if this one lines up. They were all lined up except for that curvy one. Whoa, rapid fire. Oh, why, why did I do that? I pressed... Oh, I pressed shift and it took me to the start. Okay, this one should be good. Yep. I guess yesterday's stream, the face cam was off by a little bit. But, you know, that is fine. That is A-OK. -okay. okay, so I guess that just means, like, the face cam was translated up. Yeah, it was just translated up for yesterday's stream. That's an easy fix. I'll, I'll fix that preset later. Okay, let's crop the gameplay now. So. It appears the gameplay is not translated at all. They're all lined up. So I guess yesterday's face cam was just off a little bit. Okay, so similar to when we're making the crop. Um, oh, I gotta search for crop. I don't know where it is. The so crop. Here. Quiet. So we're gonna crop the gameplay. Oh, this was 1%. Yeah. No, it was like 1.2, I think. So right now we're making the crop for the gameplay. Ooh, 10.2, 10.2. Yeah, look at that. No more green dot. Green is orange. Lamau. Lamau. See, I'm getting tired. You can. I'm starting to slur my words. I'm not having a stroke. Yeah, I'm good. I'm not having a stroke. I'm good. It's also my lunchtime. I think that's it. All right, 27.4. Ooh, there's a tiny orange dot. 27.5 is probably it. Alright, 18.5. A little bit more. Probably an 18.7. There we go. Perfect crop. So now we're going to select our preset bin, or deselect crop. Presets. Select our bin that we want it to go in. Right click, save preset, crop, <laughs> gameplay, and then new. Cool, new preset is now saved in our bin. So we're going to select all these, hold and drag, apply the crop. Oh, look at that, they all lined up. Oh my god. Thank fucking god. Wait. Wait. Whoa, the crop is really off here. What? Dude, what the fuck happened here? 
They aren't translated, huh? Huh, oh, that's weird. Oh, wait, the crop. Oh, it's because this crop is different. This crop is different. I see it now. Yeah, it's this crop. It's this top layer, the gameplay. I didn't crop her properly. Okay, so we're going to crop her from the right. There we go. Oh, better. Cool. Nice. I think those blue bars on the top is from the actual gameplay. I don't know if that's part of the border. Okay, so now we have our face cam and gameplay cropped. Because all the other assets to where it, like it has the chat, we don't necessarily need. And also, none of these clips had me talking to chat, so we don't need to keep chat. And now that we have our, our main assets, our face cam and our gameplay cropped, we're going to go to sequence, sequence settings. So right here, we're gonna do custom 30 frames per second because the, I record my stream in 30 frames per second. So now the frame size. The max file like size you can upload to TikTok or, or yeah TikTok or IG Reels is 1080 horizontal by 1920 vertical. That's the size of your plane. Okay, you know how earlier I was saying like the premiere like preview playback might be laggy? Right here. You can choose the maximum render quality. You can select that, but also it's harder on my computer. So I don't think stream can handle that. Okay. So this is just making sure you want to translate everything. Okay. So see how it changed my working plane from horizontal to vertical? So now, as you mentioned earlier, we got to change our position of everything. Do this one since this is the right crop. So we're going to first move to the left. Slide to the left. Slide. Oh, wait. I did it wrong. Wait, wait one more time. One more time. We're gonna slide to the left, slide to the right. Okay, fucking cringe. Okay, so now we're gonna move it to the left. We're gonna scale. Scale makes it bigger or smaller, obvi. We're gonna scale it where it fits perfectly in our plane. Okay, you know earlier I explained you can change the anchor point because the anchor point was in the center of the vertical video, right? That's why when I'm scaling the cropped image, it's kind of like translating to the right instead of like um, getting bigger from the center because I haven't changed my anchor point. I could change the anchor point, but I don't really need to. Okay, so now we scaled it. It should be the right size. There's no black bars on the left or right, so we're going to move it upwards right there. So cool. You can also make presets for motion. So make sure we have our presets been selected. Right-click, save preset, motion. Base cam, new. Cool. So now we're going to apply the motion. All these. Let's see if it works. Yeah. See, these are these are all good. These are all good. Like even though this face cam was off, like it's still in the right position. It's fine. And now we gotta translate and move the gameplay. So the gameplay, you know how when I do Mario Kart, I crop and move the um like the item box and then the place value and then the lap to fit on the vertical plane. I don't do that for the compilation videos because like I'm like I don't really need to. We're not doing that today. I'll have to make new presets because if you look here, I have other presets made right here under Mario Kart right here. Um, you can see I have a lot of bins. Uh, these are crops and motions for face cam and gameplay. These are crops and motions for Anim Crossing, for Mari Kart, Unite, Stardew Valley. So you, you have to make sure you organize all your bins adequately. That way you don't jumble things and put the wrong preset on stuff. Okay. Let us... Okay, so we're going to make sure this is centered. So what I usually do is I scale it down. What do I do? I, I find a gameplay where like the text is centered. So right here. We're gonna make our preset based off of this one. So we're gonna scale first to make sure there's no black bars. Uh 
Um, one second, guys. Sorry, my sister was here. She said hi. Hi, Emmy. Welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well, hon. Am I unmuted? Okay, cool. Okay, back to editing. Right now, we're um editing our monthly comp, Emmy. We're talking. You, you, uh, I'm tired. I've been talking for way too long. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, we were. Well, we we're scaling this. You're gonna make sure you scale it to where. There's no bars. There we go. And oh, fuck. Okay, so now that there's no like black bars on the top or bottom, it's scaled properly. We're going to make sure everything is centered. Actually. Okay, so remember 191, 9, 191. I need to look at this real quick. Okay, actually, if we look at this, the text is kind of centered, but not really. But see that pit where it falls into? That's more centered. So 191, 191, 191. There we go. So to make it centered, make sure this is centered right here. I think this is good. Oh, that irks me how the two bad is not centered. That legitimately bothers me. But we have to make sure when we say this preset, all the other gameplay will be centered. So it's fine. It's fine. Okay. So we're going to make sure we have our presets been selected. Right click, save preset, motion preset, motion, gameplay, centered, new. Okay, so let's apply these presets. Okay, I'm just skimming through to make sure it's all centered. Yep, that is good. Okay. These are all good. Because, like, the thing with vertical video, like, you do lose some information with the cropping. But if we look through, we don't lose a significant amount of information. Because, like, you can still see what I'm talking about and how it relates to the context of what I'm talking about. Like, this is fine. Okay, right here. Remember how we did some movie magic? Right here. We have to apply this motion crop to here. Ooh, wait. Okay, see how even though it's centered, like, it doesn't look as good? So, we're going to scale this one a little bit. Oh, it's on top. Face cam. And now, now that I moved it down here, the gameplay is behind the face cam. Oh, I have the wrong layer selected. Ooh, wait, do you see that? This face cam right here? It's not translating. You might see it, but there's a slight blue bar here. That means there's black space here. Okay, we need to scale it a little bit. Remember, this was the face cam that didn't crop well. We're going to copy. Apply it here. Instead of making presets, if you're not going to use this preset for every project, you can select it. Command C, copy. Command V, paste. Okay, there we go. Wait, all these motions are bad. I don't see it, but you can see like there's a slight black bar. Okay, the crop on the face cam layer, there's a small blue dot. Okay, a little bit. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to readjust these um, presets off stream because I am slightly rushing since I am on stream. So I promise you. All new TikToks will be good. Only good crops from me. No bad crops. OK, 
Okay, that's good. Now we're gonna command C. C. Ooh. Do you see right here that cut? Where like the second face cam is slightly bigger? Like it's it's further down on the plane. I can probably translate them up a little bit. Oops. Okay, four three four. Okay, that looks better. You see, You can't really tell when I'm switching back and forth, but since the translated, like the face cam where the bottom line is, it's lined up a bit better. It's not as jarring of a cut. Okay, so that was negative 434, negative 434. Like I said, I'm going to fix all my presets off stream. Because, like, it's better to, like, like, I will spend a lot of time skimming through stuff to make sure my presets are well. Because, like, even though earlier I thought it was good, you can see how it's off by a little bit. And it, it's, like, it's subtle things that you need to make sure you're proficient at. Okay, so I think all of those are good now. Okay. Yep, that's good. Okay. So now we need to fix this. Oh, fuck, I had the wrong layer selected. Right here. I usually will, at the start of my thing, I will right click, rename, face cam. That way I know which layer is which. But I didn't do that today. So, like we explained earlier, um, make sure um, you name stuff accordingly. So, face cam, gameplay. Look, I know which layer is face cam, which is gameplay. Five head, name your layers. Oh yeah, we were scaling this one. Wrong layer. Nick literally kids' choice of words look different this year. <laughs> okay, this is cool. Okay, so I think this. Translation. Translation means how you move something. Said, is placed man, better. Nick literally kids choice of words look different this year. <laughs> okay, this is cool. Okay, why is it lagging so much? Like genuinely why? I said, man, the Nick Nick literally kids choice of words look different this year. <laughs> oh, okay. I think my stream was just lagging when this clip was made. And me. Maybe what I can do to fix it. Mm -hmm. You can change the playback speed of clips, where you can like speed stuff up and slow it down, right? Hmm. Maybe I could do that? Maybe? Wait, 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 we're another hour into stream. You guys know what that means. It's time to run an ad, baby! How come nobody told me it was ad time? <laughs> you guys trying to scam me? <laughs> um, we are another hour in the stream, so I have to fulfill my contractual obligation to run a few ads. So you can avoid the ad break by subscribing for just four ninety nine, just five dollars a month. Skip your coffee today and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you kept it hush hush. You're trying to save the non subs. Badge, I mean shout outs, honestly. <laughs> um. Or if you have a Twitch Prime link to Twitch, you can get a free Prime sub every month. You will see some of you guys, and if you get a snack and some water if you need it, we're almost done with editing. I swear to God, we're almost done. Okay. Back to work. Okay. Maybe? I said, man, the Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards look different this year. <laughs> okay, this is... I wonder if it's just the playback of actual premiere. Cool. I know before it'd just be like one. Okay, but this is the only clip that's fucking up. I 
to man the Nickelode Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards look different. Okay, this we year. need to find where it's starting to lag. So Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards it's look different this year. <laughs> Wait, what? Why it's not lagging now? Kids Choice Awards look different this year. <laughs> okay, then that was just a premiere issue. Oh my god. Well, anyway, what I, what I was gonna do if it was like the actual clip not rendering. Then I could like trim the segment that's lagging and then like increase the playback speed. So to do that, you select your clip, right click. Wait, nope. No, wait. It's either here, I think it is. Speed. Yo, what the fuck? Okay, I forgot how to do it. I'll explain it another time. <laughs> oh, let's save. I forgot to save. Um, I think we are done. Let's watch it back. Whoa, rapid fire. I'm like that kid in class who stabbed everybody with their pencils. <laughs> Megan, are we okay? Yes, I'm okay. I'm fine. I am a-okay. I'm doing great. I'm doing lovely. I'm having a good day. No, no! Oh! Did you guys see that? Somebody clipped that shit. That was fucking epic. Wait, I died. No, I fell off. I fell off. I literally... Please, I had a solid fourth place. I had it. I had it. I said, man, the Nickelode Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards look different. Dude, I this hate my year. stutter. <laughs> okay, this is cool. I know before it'd just be like one gust of wind, but just picturing like I was gonna say shitting up, but you're more like coughing up ice shards. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! I have a joke. I have a joke. This is me when I ate glass. <laughs> The stupid glass bit is so stupid, but it's so good. I feel like we'll see how it does. We'll see how it does. Okay, I saved my project. That is. I think we are good. I think we're solid. Oh. I think we are good to go. So, yeah. That was a bit of insight into my editing process how long do we edit for like an hour 15 for a one minute comp like granted it did take longer because i was explaining everything but i hope it gave everybody a bit more i guess understanding of what goes into like a a editing like I said, I think the main thing that's what's most important is like determining what the substance is to what your your content is. And also like the timing. The timing is genuinely so important. It's kind of like, you know, like YouTube will be like, smash the like button. Like that kind of stuff. Um, so, or like how they, they how there's a, like, like an either like insane zoom in or motion in the first two seconds. There's a reason why they do that. It's to grab attention. So, like I said, I know I don't do any crazy edits in mine, but I definitely, I feel like trimming and timing and also the flow of stuff um, is, is I think, the most important thing with any type of cross-posting or clipping. Change your perspective on vids. Nice, let's go. I hope... Um, like I said, I see a lot of, like, tips and, like, help videos on, like, how to, how to edit and stuff, but I feel like actually sitting down, like, I know I appreciate the tutorial videos where they go through, like, a whole one to two hour session of editing, and they explain everything. Like, I appreciate that type of content way more than, like, a five minute highlight, or, like, five minute of, like, how to do something. I feel like it's a lot more... It has a lot more value to it, I guess. So, yeah. Can you guys enjoy it? I don't say it was more chill. I okay. I wouldn't say it was boring, but <laughs> not as hype as a normal stream, I guess. If okay, I'll I'll have to watch back the vod to see how like the stream actually did in terms of like visual performance, because like I'm just looking at our drop frames and we got a handful today. But honestly, it could be because I didn't upgrade my laptop this morning. Oopsie. Um. I did get a new camera. That's what my sister dropped off. 
I got my new camera in the mail today, so hopefully we'll have a good HD camera for calligraphy in the future. So I'll troubleshoot that tonight, and hopefully, maybe if I can get it set up, I can do it tomorrow. If we get any subby. Um, yeah, I think that's all I got for you guys today. Oh my god, Miskip is live. <laughs> that's good for your tired brain. I'm glad to hear that. Glad you guys killed with me and had a good time. Okay, I have someone we can read out today. We're not writing to Scootish, as I said. But we're reading out to friend of the show, Tabs Key. I found them on TikTok, and what are they doing today? Oh, they're doing another chill stream. So if you like the vibes for today, you'll enjoy Tabs Key stream. It says their title is co-working. Oh, it looks like they're doing just chatting. I think they're doing just chatting today. So once again, thank you to anybody who came in the stream today. I appreciate you all. Today was more chill. I still had fun. Oh, what did we do? Today, we finished and updated our follower journal. <laughs> I'll be posting pictures of these in the thread soon. So if you want to see it, go follow my Twitter. Check out this thread to see all the previous pages. Um, I don't know if we're going to do editing streams in the future. Maybe, occasionally. Maybe we'll do them once a month for the comp. Maybe. But... Yeah, th thank you to anybody who fucking gifted. We had a lot of gifters today. We did the sub journal already. But we had the uh, Jay Butler subscribe, cheer bits, and fucking gift subs today. Oh my god, our new oiler. Holy shit. We had not Mac gifted tier one sub, and then Titan 5 subscribe at tier one and gift two subs. Oh my god, you guys are fucking crazy. We do have a new leaderboard up, guys, for the month. We got some top cheers and top gifters now. Oh my god. I was not expecting this today. I was, like, I was like, what the fuck? It's only June 1st. You guys are fucking crazy. Anyway. Um, if you aren't already, before we read out, make sure you're following my offline social media accounts. I have a Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok. If you aren't already, go follow my Twitter. You will see more art shit and funny haha jokes sometimes. Um, like I said, we are reading out to friend of the show Tabs Key. I think they're doing just chatting, so I think they're just talking to chat right now. Bye, Emmy. I'll see you later, hon. Bye, guys. I hope you have a good time today. Um, gentle reminder, be nice to them. I only rate it to people I know. If you are a nan sub, if you could type in their chat, peace rate. If you are a sub, do peace I2 spin. Spin peace rate. So copy and paste these messages and then type them in the chat room when we head over there. So copy and paste these messages and type those in tabs key chat when we head over there. I will be live again tomorrow, 11 a.m. PST, with the same thing. Nope, not the same thing. What am I saying? We are doing the every game over I give subs SN3D World run. So look forward to that. And then Animal Crossing afterwards, I promise. Hope you. Anyway, I enjoyed hanging out with everyone today. And I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> okay, bye, guys. Oh, wait. <laughs>